you dearie me. <sighs> Hello everybody, what's going on? How are we all doing? I know it's not Sunday. Hang on, let me just move this because I need a bit more extra room. Tell me if I'm lagging. Apparently, uh, my dialogue, my audio was lagging on Sunday. That's better, I think. Yeah. So I just got it in a uh, a different place. I couldn't be bothered to uh, get the uh, thingy on. What are you talking about, Paul? Fantastic. Hello, everybody. Hello. Johnny K. Is that Johnny Cash? No, it's Johnny K. Hello, Bridget. So I'm just sending a little message uh, till 6 p.m. Du, 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 du. Where are we? In his makeup chair, getting ready to go live. Yeah, but look at the state of me. The makeup artist's crap. Hello, Ryan. What's your favourite movies from 1998? Uh, 1998. What came out in 98? I think Star Trek First Contact came out in 1998. Can't remember what else. Rob the Bobs, hello. This is a kind of impromptu live chat today, unannounced. Uh, if there are anybody, uh, any uh, other YouTubers that have got StreamYard that want to pop on for a chat and join in, then it's free for all today. So I haven't got any guest. But uh, if you want to come on and have a chat and interact, then oh God. Hang on, we've got our first one. Where's he gone? He was there just now. Oh, we're talking. Here he is. <laughs> oh, oh, his camera's about to fall over. It's Mr. Know. Robinson. Hey, uh, you Mr. Doing? Corden, thank you very much. Mr. Corden, thank you. <laughs> yep, all right. Yeah, yeah. It's important to you. <laughs> the, um, the kids are one night at my parents, so... Um, like yesterday, because it's a lot of the working arrangement and everything, so the wife's been at work today, so yes, uh, no children tonight, so I'm going to have, I do, this is really, this is how sad it gets with married life and children, Paul, that I'm treating myself to a bath tonight. Not that I don't get clean, <laughs> but yeah, I, obviously I normally have a shower or whatever, but no, I thought I'd, I'm going to have a nice, like, well, I tell you what, you run the bath, you see what it is, it takes about half an hour, 45 minutes from the bath, you get in it, you go, oh. Wash yourself, and then five minutes later, you're up. So it's took you nearly, nearly an hour to run it, but you're in it for five minutes because it's too fucking hot. Yeah. And there's a dong, the dong, the doorbell. <laughs> yeah, oh, there's a doorbell here going. And the wife's going, I'm another delivery. Another one for you. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. Do you, no. Do you use your bath bombs? No, oh, but don't get the bath bombs. Honestly, the kids. I want a bath bomb. You get them a bath bomb. And one of them's like, yeah, I want to use it. The other one's like, no. So she's got like a stockpile of bath bombs that she doesn't want to touch because once they're gone, they're gone. So yeah, she's a bit of a knob about that. So what's what's with the impromptu thing anyway? You can't really use bath bombs in the shower, can you? It wouldn't work. No, I suppose you can wear swimming trunks and drop them in there, I suppose. Get all oh, them. dear me. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of fizzy action going on down below. So what what's the crap with this impromptu? You just, you, you're not working today or something? Oh, yeah, now I'm off today. Um, had dinner, just had a spare two hours. But why not? Because I'm not going to be able to do it Sunday because I'm working for the entire weekend. So I thought I'd just do, you know, yeah, even if only five weekend. people pop on. Next weekend? Or has it just worked out that way? I said, oh, are you having to work this weekend because of next weekend? Oh, just... no. No, it's just my scheduled uh, weekend on. So next weekend I'm off anyway. So it, it works out just as well. Oh well, that's all right. Otherwise, I would have had to take three days off, or we would have had a weekend. 
it's going to be quite good the Berman trip because it means that the wife and I will be able to eat out for a full weekend as opposed to having homemade stuff not that she's not bad to cook because she's fine but I mean we can have like the fry up on this Saturday and then I think we'll probably just I don't know what we're going to do lunch wise but then obviously we've got um James's restaurant I'm going for the uh the mac and cheese burger just so you know I might go for the fish and chips I'm not sure yet or might I might go for steak I don't know you should ask them to get some curry sauce to put on your fish and chips do you know what? I've never had curry sauce or maybe on my, on my chips. Right. Apparently, ever... apparently well, James is paying for all of this for us. No, he's not, is he? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he should do, though. We could promote the restaurant on our channels. I can see a meme now going, that's bait. That's bait. We'll <laughs> probably be on here in a minute. It's obviously for bait, but yes. <laughs> Oh dear. So actually, Mr. Inside Info, Zavi, when, when is Coco getting a release? When's what? Coco getting a 4K from Zavi. Coco? Yeah. The animated one? Yeah. Oh, it's already out, isn't it? Not not 4K, it's not. Is it? Is that class as Pixar? Coco is, yeah. Uh, I know it's got what? one in America. It doesn't have I've got, the, I've got the blue fans. I don't think this one's got... I don't think it's got um, okay included. That's 3D. It's the 3D in the Blu-ray. Yeah, that's what I've got. Yeah, that is one that's not out in 4K, isn't it? No, that's what I wait for it to come out. That on the maybe the that'll be one of the new ones that they're uh, they're announcing. But they're only announcing them once a week, and the last email I never got sent, so I had to get onto them and say, "Oh, where's the emails that you're supposed to be sending me?" Where's my emails? And where's my free stuff, you bastards? What do you think I'm promoting? She mentioned, that. Again? She mentioned that on the emails. They've got several uh, samples that they're going to send out to me for, for a few years. Samples? That sounds a bit dodgy. Yeah. It's probably a disc in a, like, a little white envelope. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Honestly. So, hopefully they'll well, be original. Well, that many people watching, then? 31. Oh. That's just the usual stream for me on a Sunday, you know, not to kind of blow you on trumpet or anything, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't think it would be a huge amount, you know, being a weekday and still like a lot of people are at work. Yeah, well, I'm in between work. That's why I said, yeah, I'll only put one for a few minutes just to say hello. Because I, I haven't been on a live stream for it. I think the last live stream was on. I was like on Pete's Play Tendo, guys, and I kind of finished football, came home, had a shower and was on for about half an hour. Yeah. Um, I do miss doing the live streams, but at the same time, I don't miss having to be in control of them because the tier ones can't be on and I have to organise everything. But we live and learn. But and got phase it. two will be coming, won't it? Yes, yes. Um we've obviously got the one on a week on Saturday, hopefully at some point, no idea what time. And then the week later is when I've got Dave and Sue on. Which is I, I think I thought when we come back we better to get like I wouldn't say other guests aren't like yourself aren't as eye grabbing but those two especially being americans they've got more pulling power as such i think yeah that's why definitely I get those two on especially um, as no, dave's just hit like what is it sixteen thousand. Yeah. wow did you see how i put in his thing when i put it on the bluetooth community i put he put oh thanks paul i was like no worries mate oh by the way when you send me that lenticular of arnie yeah never replied did he bastard <laughs> and uh it evander's the only one with that isn't he at he the is, moment yeah Tony sent him that. Yeah. Swine. Have you seen Babylon by da Danny Boyle? Babylon? I've seen Babylon 5. No. I haven't seen Babylon that. by Danny Boyle. I've not heard of that. Nope. Pass. Next. Pass on that one. What's that? Saga, probably. Oh, if anybody asks, my favourite kind of cheese is one with caramelised onion in it, with cheddar, and with chicken, it has to be a chicken Kiev with nice creamy garlic in it. So <laughs> don't bother asking the question now, because I've already answered it for you. I've already been asked the question of, uh, what's your favourite film of 1998, so... <laughs> Armageddon? Was that not it? I, th I think that was 98, so it was Star Trek First Contact, I think, as well. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just guessing. We have Thank Euphoria you. pictures. Hello, matey. Hiya, Keith. Uh, we also have AK, move, AK Movies. 
Uh, have you seen Bones season four? Specifically, I actually stopped watching Bones after about season two. I didn't get bored or anything. I just I haven't phased seen out at all. Apart from obviously, well, actually, I haven't, haven't even seen them. They're in Flash, aren't they? So it's Not a good gone. series. I think it's still running. Must be it's like tenth season or something. I don't even know. Is it like a medical? Obviously, it must be a medical thing, is it? Uh, it's kind of forensics. I think obviously with bones, it's you know, like murders and forensics and that shit. Hello from a Are wet you? Dudley. It's wet in Dudley. Oh, the man who's paying for everything. Cheers, James. <laughs> <laughs> you want, you can pop on it. Pop on if you want, James. Yeah, I'll send so you the link. ten minutes or something. So yeah, it'll be a free for all. I think Jamie's popping on about half past four, I think. Uh, did you play Tendo, play Tendo Guy live stream on Tuesday night? Yeah, I was watching it. I wasn't on it, though. But that was a good stream. That was a really good stream. Everyone's jumping on the live stream bandwagon. It's good because it's getting people's channels out there. And you know me. I'm all about promoting everybody else's channel. From one James to another. There it is. Luck. Are you coming? You can let us know, Lack. Let us know. Let us know. Are you coming today? What was going on? Birmingham. Looking sharp. Looking sharp. I need my. What you got? Is Bloody Anorak on or something? <laughs> no. No, whatever. Like this was. This is my first ever super dry hoodie that I bought, but it's been the wash so much that it's actually all faded. But what <laughs> happened was the wife in the old house was cleaning the shower, and I was I did something, and then she went, oh. I've just bleached that. I'm like, oh, so then I got, like, it's all got bleach marks on here. Oh, so, yeah. Um, so actually, that actually looks like a penis. Well, <laughs> I don't know. It's like you across the floor. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, so she bought us a new one. So I've got those. But, yeah, that, this is this is just my dusting, right? Because it's, like, torn and everything. So I just put it on when I'm at work. Uh, <laughs> not, not, not sharp. Although I may wear my uh, waistcoat and tie when I come back into the live stream. I did that with Dave's first one. Nobody, I mean, I well, like that. Chicken nuggets and everything. Like that office one you did. When you did the, the, the light show. Oh, that, yeah. Yeah. that was when I did the review of um, St. Maud. Yes. That was at the time when I thought I'd come up with all these skits at the beginning. But then I actually honestly got out of bed in the night time thinking... I'm going to do a video tomorrow. What's it going to be? I need an intro. I need an intro. Even now, I'm thinking about the Birmingham vlog and how to kind of put humour into it. Um, but I, I'm, that, that's my constant in my head, but I can't think of anything. But at the same well, time, I don't... Yeah, go on. I, I've been learning for the last couple of weeks how to actually successfully pick a lock so that um, we can pick the lock of Pete and Jamie's door and catch them at it. I think I would prefer to leave that lock alone. If there's any lock... <laughs> On, it would probably be that. Although, you might not bring in <laughs> as many viewers as you think. That's true. You can see your subs drop into a hundred thousand if that happens. <laughs> you probably have to start an OnlyFans channel if that would be the case. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, Phil's here. Phil, hope, you, hope you're doing well, Phil. Nice to see you, son. Or, and close. Play Tendo Guy. What was that? Play Nando Guy, wasn't it? Yeah, playing Nando, yeah. Because the other Paul, <laughs> not Paul, Paul Tams said I'm playing Nando. What's your favourite type of chicken? So, yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do. Bloody hell, comments. Where's the comments? Uh, are you two looking forward to the Suicide Squad 2? I didn't. Is there going to be one? I just thought this is standalone, isn't it? Um. I think so. Um, well, as yeah. far as I know, maybe, maybe I know they they're doing a new one. A, they're doing a spin-off, aren't they, with um, John Cena? John Cena. Yeah, I think they've well, already filmed that. Film, they? I, I thought I thought he was actually the best character of the the actual film. I still haven't seen. I it. don't like anything he's in. I need to see that. I still need to see old. I've got this funny feeling. I know everyone's kind of fifty fifty with it, but I think I'll probably really like old because I like a lot of. Shamalonga Ding Dong's movies, apart from Avatar and um, After Earth. I love all of them. So I'll probably like it. But I'm always into it. I'll let my mates who I work with go, you probably like shit films. So the, the amount of stick I get for liking Prometheus and Alien Covenant is absolutely unbelievable. But you like what you like, don't you? That's it. Yeah. 
What is it? I'll blow and you do the finger in. <laughs> yeah, you blow and I'll do. The... Yes. Wow. How that fast scriptwriters is on is, is beyond. I know. Ridiculous. Legend Lewis, hello. There he is. Uh, what's your favourite game characters? Ellie from The Last of Us, and then probably Laura Croft, and then the guy mm. on Uncharted, which obviously is now going to be a Tom Holland movie, which I forgot his name. Nathan Drake, I think it is. Um, so yeah. Is it Uncharted? Is he doing? A, he's doing a film called Uncharted, isn't he? Yes, that's right. That's based on the game. I think mine would have to be probably Tomb Raider because uh, it's the only main one that I know. Yeah, I mean, you could probably have. Although it's not really. A game character such as um, you could have a suppose sub, actually no probably Sub Zero Scorpion things like that, Mortal Kombat they're, they're obviously game characters or yeah Ali, I mean Street Fighter. Uh, me James and Andy will have to get you guys on the Tuesday night stream sometime. Stream. If I'm not playing football, he always does it on the Tuesday. Yeah. I'm playing football. Was I can do it. I I can do an evening every now and again, but I just need to wait now to do evenings. Well, exactly. You've got your dad to occupy. Make sure he doesn't watch shit. Do you know what? This is the exact same question I had about four weeks in a row. Ants is one of those animated ones that came out at the same time that they did um, Bugs Life, isn't it? They're kind of like... Yeah. Um, and I prefer Bugs Life. Yeah. Hollywood, they haven't done that of late, really, have they? Because we had like Volcano, Dante's Peak, and we had Armageddon and Deep Impact. Deep Impact, and then we had. Um, I'm sure the, the other ones were the, like very similar. Uh, what was it? Oh, it was the Prestige and the Illusionist. So those ones. Yeah. But they don't seem to be doing that at the minute. Just. Oh, and there was um, White House Down and. Oh, Olympus! Yeah. Olympus has fallen. Yeah. Yeah. I, think that was a uh, I prefer Olympus Has Fallen. Uh, those two. Oh yeah, I mean, I mean, the, the the Have Fallen trilogy as such at the moment are bog standard action films, which aren't very good. And if you look at them, they're basically rubbish. But I thoroughly enjoy them. And the four, I'm trying to remember what fourth one's called. God, I can't remember the name of it. The, the one, the one they're going to be making. Yeah, it's got, a, it's got a weird name as well. The scriptwriter has fallen. Who? The scriptwriter. <laughs> Birmingham has fallen. <laughs> yeah, we'll do. Once Pete and his thoughts get there. Luke's here today. Hello, Luke. Hey, Luke. Oh, that is an interesting one from Steve. What's your favourite of DC Margot Threesome? Mine, Birds of a Prey. What's your favourite of the DC Mario threesome? Um, well, what are they? What? Suicide well, Squad? Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad. Birds of Prey and the Suicide Squad, isn't it? Well, you know, uh, if I have a choice out of those and I haven't seen the third one, I'll probably say Suicide Squad, the first one. But Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm not Because that was our first introduction to, you know, Margot Robbie as her character. And she's got a lot more memorable dialogue in the first film not in birds of prey because it's shite but you know that <laughs> <laughs> but you can pick it up for 4k in hmv now from for under i know i hope i don't see that in Birmingham. it's going to be plastered all over the place in in the vault isn't it yeah up on the back there's one for you paul son the more isn't it? What? Uh, it's an interesting one. If Kermit is Kermit Ghost mascot, what's yours? What is my probably a Porgs? Probably my mascot because I'm holding one in the in the cartoon. Probably my little um, Grogu. I've took his Newcastle shirt off him, but he's probably in the background. Him and um, the Dalphysaurus picture that Jason sent me. 
I think. Yeah. That's about it. Um, I have got me little where the wild things are when I was younger, but yeah, there was probably me Grogu. Obviously, Jamie's got a bit of turtle, isn't it? Obviously, of course. And um, who's Rob's? Well, it's got to be someone from. Be Sub Zero or something, wouldn't it? He's probably Sub Zero. And Jason's has got to be the little critter. What's the critter's name? Steve. Hey? Steve. Steve. Yeah. yeah. I'll wind him up because I'll call him as a gay critter. <laughs> he loves a bit of meat, does that, Steve? <laughs> Finally watched Godzilla vs. Kong in 4K last night and thought it was absolutely brilliant. It's, it's, good. it's got a great picture and great sound. I've watched it in 4K since I got it. I've watched it, but I haven't watched it. That's what I do. I watch them. Oh, I buy the 4K and then I don't look at the 4K pictures. Oh. I still actually randomly, I'm just doing stuff for um, Instagram, but I still really like this. I remember going, yeah. going, going That's to the film. Really good film. Yeah, I went on a date with the last to see that. I didn't know it was on for three hours. That date didn't go very well after that, I'll be honest. That set that that scene where she's hung up, she's strung up you know, in the in the forest in the gates, and then all of a sudden she screams. Fucking hell. That sent shivers down my back that is. Yeah, it's it's absolutely because you forget about all the creatures on, on, on the island. Because um, I when I rewatched it a couple of years ago, I was like, Oh, Forgot all about all this, and they're falling down, and then they get attacked by all the insects and everything. Forgot all about that. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a really good film. Very underrated, I think. Yeah, yeah. Avatar: The Last Airbender is hilarious. My mate and I were pissing ourselves in the cinema. <laughs> I just haven't seen it. I just it got so many bad reviews, and it's based on like a uh, animated thing, isn't it? So I'm not. Really I tell you what, the three D is good though. That's probably the best thing. About it. But the problem with when I went to see the cinema, every, every person was sniggering all the way through the film because every time someone called ev someone else a bender. <laughs> yeah, that would probably do it. Yeah, my lights go off. Put back on. There we go. Do, do, do. What movie franchise would you like to see a reboot? Probably. Critters would do with a good one. Um, tell you what would be good if they could do it. The FX ones with Brian Dennehy and Brian. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, or, or they could do Crocodile Dundee. Chris Hemsworth. Crocodile Dundee. What was the latest thing? Liam Neeson's doing. Naked Gun. Naked Gun, isn't he? Yeah. I don't think. What other franchises they could reboot? That's a bit of a weird casting. I don't get a casting choice. No, although have you seen him in the um, Life's Too Short? Ricky Gervais one. Oh, yeah, yeah. When he comes in. With he wants Davis. Comedian. Yeah. Have you seen that yeah. when, with him? when he comes in, he goes, knock, knock. Who's there? And he does all this stuff. I've got AIDS. <sighs> Straight in there. Oh, just, that is just because he's so deadpan trying to be, oh, I want, I, I'd just love that. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. Because he's so deadpan and serious and doing it. Yeah. Uh, what's your favourite Hobbit film? I like the one with the dragon and the gold. That's Smaug, isn't it? Yeah, probably that one. Um, Battle of Five Armies. Between the first and the second one, people crap all over the third one. But I think it's got a lot of interesting. It's got Billy Connolly. Um, uh, oh. The Battle of the um, Five Armies. But yeah, I think he's the first one. I just don't like the, the Hobbit, the um, dwarf singing bit at the beginning. That's a bit annoys me the most. Do you like <laughs> James Corden? <laughs> I think I'm <laughs> Frankly, I do actually like James Corden. I think he's very he's, he's good for what he does. People don't like him, but you got to think he's made from being in acting school, going in the. the the History Boys and then the History Boys stage show, writing Gammon and Stacey and then that being a massive success and then going on to do um, The Late Late Show. I mean, you got people do or don't like you. Got to take I don't have a problem with him doing The Late Show. I just don't, I just don't really like him doing the acting or the singing. <laughs> yeah. But he's, got, he's good in Gammon and Stacey, though. I've never seen it. You've never seen Gammon and Stacey? Never seen it. 
Oh, I honestly mean, I think that's the reason why I never saw it because he was in it. Oh, you, 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 oh if, honestly, it's good. Trust me. Oh, Gary's Thanks here. Hello. Who else we got here today? You. Okay. Do you guys like Lego? I've got the Super Mario Luigi course Lego today. Okay. Mm, Don't really buy it. I was younger. I suppose. I'd love to get. Yeah, not since I not since I was about five. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Lego's like... really expensive these days. The bloody oh. Millennium Falcon's nearly hundred and fifty quid. Exactly. I just yeah. I don't think. Well, I won't have the time to build it. And two, where's it going to go? If I build a Millennium Falcon or a Ghostbusters firehouse or Back to the Future, where's it going to go? I've got nowhere to go, and I'll just collect dust. So if you're paying fifty, sixty quid yeah. or something, they sit over here, and I'll just collect dust. Uh, went into Tesco's today and they finally dropped the G.I. Joe Blu-ray set to 10 quid. Yeah. Because it was, yeah, 36 99 the other day, wasn't it? Yeah, I think I saw people do that. Yeah. I don't own them. I'm not really interested. I wonder if anybody actually did that for that price. Still makes me laugh that they have Channing Tatum on the cover of the second one. I like those films. I think they're all right. They're a bit of fun. Right, but they're not. Not something I would buy in 4K or... Anything like that. I don't know. I like the slips for the US 4K ones. It's fair enough. Don't individual choice. Uh, are you tempted to get back into vinyl, all the movie soundtracks? <sighs> I wouldn't really have anywhere to put it all. I don't know how much turntables are these days. I suppose there must be over 100 quid hanging. I don't buy music anymore. I still have Spotify. The only physical music I buy. As I said in one of my videos, is anything to do with Liam Oasis or Noel Gallagher. But I've got a little box put away in the corner, which has got all the. Not, I had all the Oasis singles. I haven't done the, the them being artists on the on. I haven't really had singles, but I've got all the albums. They're the only things I buy for. Everything else, I just just view. There you go. Interesting fact. Here. Yeah. Nobody cares about. Um, CD. The last time I physically bought a CD. It's got to be five or six years ago. Everything is done Spotify. I stream it through Alexa. Oh, sorry, Alexa. Don't start. <laughs> <laughs> I stream it through the car. When we bought the car, it took me two days after we bought the car last year. I realised I didn't have a CD player. I thought we'd drive one day. I went, oh, do I have a CD player? So we don't even have a CD player in the car now. It's all plugged yeah, in. Yeah, I haven't got a CD player in the car. No, I, I stream it. Uh, what film are you most looking forward to watching in the Bong Hoon Ho set? Memories of Murder. Really? Because... What else is in it? Um, it's got Parasite, in both, both versions of Parasite. It's got... So it's got... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Barking Dogs, Never Bite, Memories of Murder, The Host, Mother, Snowpiercer, Parasite, and Parasite Black and White. Those ones are in it. But I've already got The Host, and I've already got Parasite. Um, but I, I, really, but I, I like the box set, so. And I'm going to get into my Asian stuff at the minute. As in movie wise, not kind of. Not that kind of Asian stuff. Um, oh, hello, Mr. Rob. You're into your afternoon rub. Is, no, that, I, is that a different. Is that a different film than the Mother I saw? The one with Jennifer Lawrence and Javier Bardem? Which one? The yeah, one yeah, yeah, Mother yeah. And... Yeah, that's a different one. I, I don't know what this one's about. Is it different? I've got no synopsis of anything. All it is is that and some postcards in it. But no, Memories of Murder is... I want to see Snow... I want to see Snowpiercer. That's supposed to be really good. I've never seen that. But there's also a series that I need to watch it all for that. I think that's his only English one. Because everything else is um, in Korean or subtitled and everything. But yes, there you go. Cool. What's a popular film that you still haven't seen? Ask me that. 2001. Yeah, Wizard of Oz. 2001 A Space Odyssey. Never seen it. I own it, but I just because it's in my Stanley Kubrick set, but I've never watched it. So there you mm. go. I've never seen 2010. Yeah, he didn't like that, did he? No. 
It's Mr. Nichols. Good afternoon. Are you subbed to Mr. Nichols? Yes. Yeah. I've subbed everybody. Jesus. I've got more bloody videos to watch every day than anybody else, I think. Yeah, if you want to see any good uh, swap pickups, Mr. Mick Nichols is your man. Damn right. <laughs> Blade um, now, where's the blade and check on? There it is. I got it. Uh, I just started watching the boys, and it's fantastic. Carl oh, Evan is brilliant. Oh my god, yes, it is a fantastic show. Funny enough, Pete says that even more mate, manic in the, sec in the second series. My mate gave me a lift of football on Monday because we it's Tuesday because we've got alternate who drives, and he ran it while driving. He said, Oh, you start watching the boys, so that's random. And <laughs> Pete's done the same thing. Um, but yeah, very good series. Carl Urban is the butcher. Is the butcher is great. He's awesome. He's brilliant. Yeah, I'm also getting into the Umbrella, Umbrella Academy now as well. I'm not, I'm really enjoying that. I'm on not that one, but on Black Summer on on episode five or six when they're in the restaurant on Black Summer. Yeah, I still need to. I've only seen the first episode of that, so I need to get moving on that one. Apparently, the second series is crap. Like I said. No. Oh well. There's also one, a German one, called Dark, is it? That's on we'll that know when we get to it. I think there's one called Dark. I see that one, but I never got around to yeah. it. Yeah. Oh. Green one is here himself. All right, Alan. But what I'll do, Paul, I'm going to have to love everybody and leave everybody and get Jamie on, because obviously I'm still... <laughs> getting paid to do this so i shouldn't be doing it um so yes so thanks everybody for watching enjoy this guys rest of the stream um um thanks for the link and i'll speak to you all soon on the chat and i'll see you face to face a week tomorrow a week tomorrow holy crap that's coming down quick yeah i know so, cool thank you so, I'll be come on and i'll catch you later on bye everybody see you later mate Should we bring someone else on then, shall we? Oh, he's bucking off as well now. Hang on, let's bring on the old one. Hello. Here he is. Hello, hello, hello. Your name is. <laughs> <laughs> Your name is. <laughs> what, mate? He's How got his doing? Negan T-shirt on. That's I'm right. good. It's a bit faded now. It's a bit old. This TV. It looks like vegan, doesn't it? It's terrible. I guess. Oh, he does actually look like vegan, yeah. <laughs> a picture of a sausage roll on the back. <laughs> How you doing? What have you been up to today, then? Uh, not a lot. I went to Winton. Um, to I went to Poundland. They had fuck all in there. Um, and then I just came home and watched some film. I watched the film. I'm going to watch another one in a bit. But uh, I, watch, I got it here, what I'm watching today. Hang on. I watched this one called uh, The House, The Haunted House of Horror. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it was all right. Mm -hmm. is, is that your official review? Mm. <laughs> mm. It was all right. I mean, it's quite old. It's from the 60s. But this was like a limited one. Like, um, let me see that. Like, 1862. Oh, yeah. Is that 1862? Uh, that's not the year it was made. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't find the year on it. <laughs> 1969. Dinner for two. Um, yeah, the other ones I'm going to watch is I've got Blowout to watch, Criterion. That came out this week. It's what and, I had yesterday at Toby Curry. And that one to watch, Violent Professionals. Violent Professionals. That's what I've got. Who's in that then? Oh, it's an Italian film, so it's um, <laughs> Silvana Tranquilli. Carlo and Je it's a dub one. <laughs> yeah. Every time I get sent a new Blu-ray from the art company, it's always Italian, and I have a hell of a job trying to pronounce everyone's names. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, oh, Kermit. Hello. How you been? What have you been up when to? When you're working? Working this weekend? Or are you off? Me? No, no, I'm off now until uh, Tuesday. Oh, cool. So that's I'm working all weekend. 
Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, then I'm working next Wednesday and Thursday. But then I'm off Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday. So that's pretty good. Mm, that's cool. So this coming Monday, I'm meeting up with Carl at Canterbury. Right. Carl in the 09. That's going to be good. That'd then be we've cool. got the big Birmingham out. And I'm with Evander at Blue Water on the Monday. That should be good as well. No, you've got a busy week. Busy week, <laughs> yeah. Busy, busy bee. Busy, busy. Hey, you got your, your travel talk out for, for Birmingham and that? Yeah, me and Pete sorted it out the other week. Uh, I think it was this, this week we sorted it. We, we've booked our train tickets. The hotel's been booked, obviously. Um, he's sleeping on the floor, people. I'm sleeping in the bed. There's none of that, none of that sort of action going on. It's not bumming. You're not head to toe bumming. then. <laughs> it's not bumming them. <laughs> um, so yeah, it should be good. I'm looking forward to it. Um, should be good. Yeah, it should be fun. Should be good. I think me yeah, and Peter are getting should quite be really early. Fun. Me and Peter are getting quite early. We'll on have Friday. to work out the schedule when we're there, though, won't we? Yeah. Yeah, I think. I think the plan is to meet in the hotel on the Friday and then go for breakfast on the Saturday and then shopping. And then I think uh, Geordie Paul wants to do a live chat thing with all of us. So that'd be, that'd be a fine with me. Yeah. And then we're going to go to, uh, we're going to go and stalk our good friend, Mr. Millership. So, <laughs> so yeah. Do it oh, you know what I'm having as well? I'm having the uh, steak, ale, uh, steak and ale pie. So. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I've got my art set on the fish and chips, but I might, I might change my mind by them. <laughs> they better be garlic bread and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be such noisy, aren't we? Yeah. Especially with Pete's fighting at the dinner table. <laughs> I'm, dre- I'm taking air freshener for the room. <laughs> <laughs> I've, got a, I've got an old World War Two gas mask, if you want it. Oh, we love Pete. <laughs> Are you my daddy? <laughs> <laughs> That's a doctor oh here. Um, we've got a couple of uh, questions on here. One from Play Te- or Play Nando guy. That's right, Play Nando. Uh, do you like <laughs> Oasis and what's your favourite Oasis song? That should have. That, I should have read that one while Paul was on here just now. Yeah. We th- I think Oasis is shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's piss Paul off. <laughs> <laughs> there are really a couple like the of pieces. yeah I, I'm not a big fan of them but there are a couple that I do like that are big anthem songs you know Wonderwall and a few others and yeah but I wouldn't I necessarily go out and buy the album I think you know it's like, like film music it's all about personal preference you know if you like it that's great it's not going to be for everybody I like Oasis um Supersonic, I really like. I really like that song. But yeah, yeah. I like a lot of it, especially the earlier stuff was much better. But my work colleague absolutely hates Bruce Springsteen. Anything you know, when Bruce Springsteen comes on the radio, he sort of like goes goes to the toilet. But uh, I like a few Bruce Springsteen songs, so you know. he's good. He's right. He's good. You like whatever you like, and you sh- you shit on whatever you want to shit on. That's right. I've just done a shit as well. It's an interesting one from Stephen. One has to go. Daisy Ridley, Scarlett Johansson or Karen Gillan? Oh. I'm going to have to say Karen, I'm afraid. You're going to hate me, but I'd say Daisy. That's because you've met Karen, haven't you? Yes, yes I have. I've have got you met Karen? As well. Yeah. <laughs> you said what? You're going to get rid of who? I'd get rid of Daisy. Sorry. The other two are much nicer looking. Not my Daisy! <laughs> Sorry. That's, a tr- that's actually a good one, but um, I can't I can't ditch Daisy or Scarlet. Well, no. I mean, there's two ones, all three are pretty good. Yeah. One has to go. One has all to three go. have to stay. <laughs> Ooh, uh. Oh, uh. <laughs> the young movie goer. Hello, mate. Um, favorite Tim Burton movie? Ooh. That's Ooh. tricky. There's so it's many. Be a I, love I don't know. He's done so many great oh, films. I really like Sleepy Hollow. Yeah, that's a good one. 
Uh, I like Sleepy Hollow. I like Big Fish. I like uh, I like Big Butts and again not like I like um oh god there's so many there's just too many to name. Was it Nightmare Before Christmas? That's Tim Burton, isn't it? Which one? Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, he didn't direct it. He he was going to. He didn't direct no, he, it. No, he's not. It's, it's um he wrote it and produced it, but he never directed it. He had an argument with Disney. So that's weird. It's got his style, is not it? It's yeah. You it's, think it's, it's a Tim Burton? It's all him. He just didn't direct it. Um, he gave all the. There's a documentary on Netflix about the movies that made us, and one of them's about Home Alone. Mm -hmm. And one of them's also about Elf, and the other one's about Nightmare Before Christmas. And they went, and Tim Burton apparently was so angry they did something because uh, obviously he, he wasn't directing it that he actually punched a hole in the wall of the studio, and they actually mounted that wall and framed it, and uh, like we put like a frame around it, saying this is where Tim Burton punched the wall. <laughs> it was a very interesting documentary. <laughs> but yeah, going back to the question, I'm. Yeah. It's very tricky to pick. I mean, Batman's good, like like you said, and uh, Edward Scissorhands is good. Yeah. Um, picking a favourite. I'll I'll go with Big Fish for now. But yeah, I'm gonna go with Batman. That's fair enough. I mean, the, the first is, one. Yeah, that is a quality film. I love it. Oh God! What the hell? Dave has to go 100%. <laughs> Out of the three, that's what I would pick. But respectfully, I yeah. know that you're, you want, you know, you like Daisy. So we're all different, aren't we? Yeah, exactly. Uh, um, I don't know what that one is. Uh, Luke says a uh, new movie trailer for Gerard Butler's new movie is just dropped called Cop Shop. Yes, I saw that a couple of days ago. It's he's in a prison, um, and there's like these people, cut, like nutcases, are coming after him. I did see it a couple of days ago. It, it looks that alright. Might be at the beginning of the Suicide Squad or or Jungle Cruise. I think that might be attached to one of those. I vaguely remember be. that now. Him in, in prison. It looks alright. I'd watch it, but. And it doesn't make me go, oh, I've got to go see that. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, just out of curiosity, do you guys import US leases? Um, not so much. I mean, there's the occasional ones that I, I get from, what was the name of it? Wow, I Yeah, that's what I get from. Wow, yeah. Uh, going through eBay, you know, what was the name of this seller? Toys and Films, isn't it, on eBay? Oh, it's yeah. usually about 40 quid or 45 quid, mm. which works out, I suppose, about $60 for a new release. I mean, it's, it's if you can get a good price, then yes, but I, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's worth it. As long as it, you know, if, if it's pretty sure it's going to get a UK release, I would usually wait, but I had to get no, that last starfighter the other one yes i, I don't know if we'll ever see one over here because yeah, you got me that for my birthday i still need to I watch it <laughs> yeah and i still need to watch it as well <laughs> i got so i got so many of them piled up in the hallway i was just decided to start watching them today because i guess haven't had time with everything the london trip and that it's yeah and yeah, i made a mistake i started picking up dvd so that's going to be adding to the pile <laughs> yeah. Uh, what is your favourite Bond song? Nobody does it better by Kylie Simon. Nobody does it better. Um. Oh, la, 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 la. Probably. Live and let die. Maybe yeah. live and let die. That's pretty good. Um, one. Paul McCartney. Or uh, Casino Royale. Who was the bloke who sung that? He died, didn't he? Was he from Same Garden or something? I can't, I can't remember. remember. Name. Some, uh, Chris, Cornet, Chris Brown. Chris Brown, isn't he a rapper, singer? No, yeah, he died. I think I'm pretty sure he died a couple of years ago. Oh, that's a shame. There's so many good films. 
Yeah, I mean, I like um, uh, I like License to Kill. That's pretty good. I like uh, like Live and Let Die because that's good. Uh, Goldfinger, of course, by Tina Turnoff. Um, did you Did you know? I didn't know this. You know, Timothy Dalton as Bond did two films. Yeah. Apparently, he was asked to do Bond after Sean Connery originally, but he was about oh. twenty five years old. And he thought he wasn't experienced enough in life to be able to do a true representation of the character. Mm. And then they went with um, the Australian what? bodybuilder or model, Lazenby. Oh, him? George, like, George, yes, George. even further back you know, at the end of Sean Connery's reign. Would have been interesting. Oh, I know, I think he was asked early, wasn't he? Uh, Piers Brosnan, he was asked before Timothy but he was doing that American show at the time ah uh, yeah oh, I don't know. Oh, someone's it's, clapping it's... outside <laughs> I don't know who's no, clapping the, the, Bond, <laughs> the Bond films are great I haven't seen them all in so long so I'm waiting for the box set with the last of um, Craig Craig's last film uh, yeah. No Time to Die I'm waiting for that box set to come out Going That's on only way. next month, thirtieth of thirtieth of September. That opens. Yeah, it's two hours and forty-seven minutes long. Got to be the longest one. It has to. Yeah, my auntie keeps asking when we go out for dinner. She says, "Have they announced who the next Bond is yet?" <laughs> I hope they don't go young. I don't want them but to go young. They might. I mean, obviously, they want to promote the film. They might wait a year or two before announcing the Bond. Then again, they may look at, do it differently. And then, like, the very last scene, the door to MI6, is it MI5 or MI6? I can't remember. Will open up. And then a new character walk through. And Rafe finds will say, Are you get ready to, you know, get ready to start in uh, 007? And then maybe they'll pan up and show you the new Bond is. They might just show his shoulders. <laughs> yeah. Or to get their red, so then you have to guess what it is. Yeah. That'd be a lot of fun, though, wouldn't it? Yeah. I reckon Colin God knows who well, it's going to be, too though. Big a name, maybe. Maybe he's getting a bit old, but I thought back in the day, Colin Firth would have made a good James Bond. He's a bit. He's very sophisticated, isn't he? Very yeah. posh. And... You know, who I would have bet nobody's ever heard of. Um, he would have been amazing. It's, it's an actor called Jeremy Northam. And I'm trying to think of a film that you might have seen him in, but I can't think of one. But he was in um, the remake of The Wind's No Boy. He was in Happy Texas, I think it was called, with William H. Macy. Um, All right. He was in, he was in The Net. The I'm Bullock. sure I've heard of the name. You've seen The Net with Sandra Bullock. He was a long the, time ago. Yeah, he was the villain in that. He, he is a fantastic actor, and he would have made a fantastic James Bond, in my opinion. He's very... It's very charismatic. Um, it doesn't get See, all, all, all of the ones that they've been suggesting are, you know, they're, they're well known, but they're kind of like the older range now, like the mid to late 40s. Mm. And they need to get someone as uh, the 30s. Yeah. Hmm. That's a tricky, a tricky choice yeah. being the casting person. I wouldn't want to be on. in charge of that. Don't mind me, I'm going to drink. Today, I've, oh, I've not tried this before. It's it's an American import. Dr. Oh. Pe Dr. Pepper Vanilla Float. Vanilla Float. Ooh. Yes. Lovely. I had a floater, I had a floater earlier. <laughs> uh, send clips in your out of sync, poorly. Oh, God. I'm not in. It looks all right to me, this end. Ew. Got uh, <laughs> can you do another live stream a normal one sometime what do you mean normal maybe it means without like guests i don't know without guests i don't know i mean, I've, I've oh, don't get too close to camera jamie <laughs> just on the top of your head <laughs> <laughs> Hold your locks uh, with three hairs. uh uh, apparently, apparently, I'm badly dubbed right now. <laughs> <laughs> was it like to start with, 
or was it just when a guest uh, when came, it came on? on you a bit it was sort of it was out of sync but um it's all right now yeah because it was uh i did do something actually the last time someone was on i think it was to do with the camera mic hang on let me have a go <clears throat> excuse me i can hear seagulls is that your end no there's nothing at my end <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're out like seagulls. You and I both have that problem with seagulls. Bastards. Shitting all yeah, over my car. Oh. Right then. Right then. <laughs> <laughs> Into HMV we go. <laughs> AK Movie says hello. Hello. Hello, AK Movie. Hello. Yeah, nice to see you, chap. Splendid. Uh, Favourite Michael J. Fox movie outside of Back to the Future? Easy peasy for me. The Frighteners. Right, <laughs> yeah, definitely. That's yeah, fantastic. Doc Hollywood's all right. And Secret of My Success is pretty good. That's good as well, yeah. 3D was quite good. What was... What was that last one? Life of Mike. It was Greedy, which we had. Um, I forget who else was in it. And there was one with. Um, he was in Mars Attacks for about 10 minutes. Oh, he was, wasn't he? Yeah, of course. Yeah. That was a great cast in that. That's Fantastic. Such a funny film. Yeah, it's a bit of fun, isn't it? That's Tim, Tim Burton. Burton. Tim Burton as well. <laughs> oh, I actually might change my thingy then. I'm going to oh, change Batman. it to Mars Attacks instead of Batman. Yeah. I love Mars Attacks. It's hilarious. Meh, meh, meh. <laughs> Have you seen How and is it any good? Uh, not yet. I only bought it Monday. Um, and yesterday, no, it was yesterday we went to see um, the uh, Jungle Cruise. But I've just started watching some films because Katie's out. She's out with her friends. She's gone shopping to Primark. So I think you'd go Primark. And um, and she's she spent a bit of Kate of Kermit's voucher already. Didn't take her long. And um, and yeah, so I'm I've just started watching one today. And I will put it on the list of things to watch. Katie wants to watch that though, so I'll watch that with Katie. So so probably at the weekend if you get a chance. Because yeah. he said, if not, send it my way. <laughs> yeah, it was quite funny. When I went to the till, it it was sticking up at six ninety nine, and they scanned it. It was at seventeen ninety nine. I was like, "Excuse me, young man." <laughs> oh, <laughs> young man! Oh, it's eleven pound cheaper by sticker, and he let me have it for six ninety nine. So I was really too right. Yeah, what's that say? It's play it's Nando guy. The streaming Tuesday. Sorry for the technical. What was the technical issues you had on Tuesday? Oh, he kept going. We no, he had his internet issues. He kept port, oh, like pausing, blocking, and yeah, yeah. It was, it was all right overall. It was fine. I mean, it yeah. wasn't that bad. It, it was quite funny. It was really funny that before we did the quiz, all of us went for pee. <laughs> I mean, all four or five of us went for pee at the same time. There's nobody on camera. <laughs> it was really funny. We all pissed off. Hello, uh, Mr. Powell. Hello, Dudley. Dudley. Dudley, get a nice cup of tea with a bit of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward to meeting him. He's such a lovely chap. Absolutely. I want extra chips for that. Thank you. <laughs> Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, get that unboxing done. Yes, yeah, Stephen sent me another large package. Oh, it's a really long one. It's a really long one. Oh. I'll take... <laughs> it's about three foot long. Oh. <laughs> we call you tripod from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see the big box I got from Georgie? Holy crap. I know. Holy crap. That's massive. And that massive book. I know. It was really heavy, the box. I said, what the hell is this? And uh, and Kate was like, "What is in that?" Because she said, "Do you want the box there?" And I said, "Yeah." And she tried and pick it up. I was like, "All right, you can pick it up." <laughs> Poor postman. 
You're not even shagged by a tank, the poor sod. What's that? Uh, I said I was in Tesco, Tesco, Texas, USA, and now I have to stay at Texas if I propose to my girlfriend on Monday. Oh? Oh, congratulations. Oh, yeah, she said yes. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, she, she said, said yes. no, I don't want to stay in Texas. <laughs> Will you marry me? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Riding cowboy, probably will. Jim Jams on the bus going to work. Oh, he's oh yes. Have, have a good shift. He's phoning me later or chatting to me later. Find out if he's paying for all our meals, man. <laughs> I'll give him. I'll give him a good word. <laughs> <laughs> I say lose all his air, but he's already there. I think. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I'll drink to that. I'll buy that for a dollar. I'll buy that for a dollar. <laughs> That's Robocop, isn't it? Uh, is it me or is your camera lagging a bit behind? It's jumpy. It's like your switch is behind a bit more and a jumper too. I'm not wearing a jumper. I've got a t-shirt on. Hang on. Uh, I've got an idea. Hopefully, oh, I won't lose myself. Don't oh, so Italian job. lose yourself. Hang on, fellas. I've got an idea. It might make a difference. I've turned the Wi Fi off, so I want 4G. But you have to let me know if it's working or not. Oh, uh, we have Meg's movies. Hello. Meg. Hey, there she is. Jamie. Jamie's back. My back. What about the front? Your back. Your front as well. I hope you're doing well. Uh, what has been your favourite movie of the year so far and your least favourite so far? Mm. Oh. Oh. I like Oh, what's that? Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, Matron. Justice League is my favourite of the year so far. That's good. Oh, least favourite? Oh. Don't you dare say it. Don't you dare say it. <laughs> what? Suicide Squad. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. It was it was a it was a good entertaining film. I'm still gonna buy it. It's got its fun of moments. Course. I just prefer things in the first film. That's fair enough. Um, I still different. What is the one of the worst films this year? What was I disappointed with? I don't know. I haven't seen Tom and Jerry the movie yet. <laughs> so that might Not be buy, actually. I don't know. I don't think there's any film that I've really been annoyed with or oh, shit, maybe. I don't know. Be interesting to see my like top ten at the end of the year, then I will know. <laughs> I mean, I I have a list of films on my phone which I keep like my best films of the year, and then at the end I whittle it down to ten. And at the moment I'm at ten, so it's very tricky. But I really loved Nobody, and I really liked Cruella. And I loved A Quiet Place too. And obviously Suicide Squad, I really enjoyed that. Um, respectfully disagree, disagree to you or a view on it, which is fine. You enjoyed it, but I, I, it's my sort of sense of humour. It was, it was dark and horrible, but I really liked it. <laughs> Even Katie liked it. I was like, bloody hell. I didn't expect Katie to like it because I got about halfway. When that shark split that person in half, it's not a spoiler, it's in the trailer. As the King Shark splits a person in half of his bare hands, and I'm like, oh, Katie's not going to like this. <laughs> but no, it's it's tricky. I like Kong versus Godzilla as well, but I think nobody or Cruella at the moment are top two. And I really like worse. Luca. Hmm? Worse. worse. Uh, Hang on, what were you doing that? that? I'm trying to think of something that. that Someone wants to come back in on the stream. Who's that? It's not, it's not him, is it? Oh, fuck. Well, I'm going. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. It's James. And tonight with James Corden. Put me uh... oh. What's that? I can't read What's that. What's that? Oh, Bubba Gum Shrimp Company. Oh, I watched the new thingy for that. You know it? The, um, the, the movies that make this. Oh, yeah, we product. saw that. Very good. That. That's good. I finished work, so I thought, 
You finished? Oh, yeah. He just went for a shit. That's what it was. <laughs> yeah. All right. Do not go in there. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so, what was, what, uh, what was your first film of the year? I, I can't think of one, to be honest. I'm really trying hard to think of a film that I really hated, but. Um... It's just. It's just films that we're not happy with or disappointed with. There's not anything that we can really say with an absolute hatred that we really... No. There's been nothing that would go, I would never watch that again. <laughs> I'm sure Paul could think of something, but I don't think he was there this year. <laughs> um, Favourite movie of the year so far? I'll, from a personal level, I would probably say Mortal Kombat. Oh, that's a good one. I really, I know that's, I know everybody hates it, but I just, I put it on again. Not everybody hates it. Well, look. My head looks huge in between you two. <laughs> Is anybody <laughs> on you're the, you're the boiled egg and we're the soldiers. <laughs> <laughs> Extra crispy. But to be honest, I watched Mortal Kombat again the other day since I bought it on 4K and it's just a lovely, not lovely, it's just a nice film that you can sit down and just put oh, on. Nice. And just put it on for the children. Enjoy in the hour and a half, two hours just flies by it's good um but with regards to worst i don't know I'm trying to think what came out that that i didn't enjoy um, i've enjoyed the um jigsaw is it jigsaw not jigsaw um spiral I, I enjoyed that it's not awful it's not what i would say is like the worst film of the year yeah i've seen far worse than that but I don't know. It's, it's it's funny because it's like August now, and I still think it's like February or something. So I can't remember yeah. how far well, back to go. Well, we have we have the cinemas open. Was it April? Was it the cinemas opened, or was it yeah, it was around April, late it's, March, April? So it's not been the restrictions that long. then, one way, yeah, yeah. I think I've only been to cinema once this year, and that was to see Spiral, uh, wasn't it? Spiral, Spiral, yeah. No, twice. Oh, yeah. No, right place part two. So. Oh, yes. That was a corker. That was an absolute corker. I'm disappointed because I could see all the guys in America picking it up. I'm like, I want that. I, I want that one. I want that one. I know. I don't like it. I know. Yeah, no. no, I don't like it. What are you doing up in that tree? I fell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Paul's I, frozen. I, I can't think of anybody. Any. Where have we all gone? We're still here. <laughs> Let me see if I can. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, what there? On. What's the, where is, get, where's this heading, lads? I'm not going anywhere. I'm just seeing <laughs> movies of 2021 so far. Oh, right. Here we go. That I didn't like. Uh, well, Blood Red Sky came out. I watched that the other night and I wasn't impressed with that. What was that one with Angelina Jolie? Wasn't too uh, great. The Those You Wish You're Dead. Dead. Which one's dead or something? Um, oh, I forget what it's called. It was one of the kid in the five. She was a firefighter. Yeah. Yeah. Those Who Wish Me Dead. That's it, yeah. Um, e tell e you what I did watch. E the Viet, um, e I watched that Great White. Oh, yeah, I've got oh. that to watch. Yeah, I've got the other one to watch. Oh, you got that, um, the one of the fit girl on the back. <laughs> Shark. That's the one. Shark attack. Look how petrified she is. Yeah, so she's she's nice about the episode of Neighbours or something. She is nice, though. Ice Road was disappointing. Which one? Oh, I, I kind of enjoyed that because I like Ice Road Truckers. So. Ah, I haven't seen that yet. Jurassic Thunder. Jurassic Thunder. Bring on the thunder. I'll tell you what, there was one I saw the other day. It was called Jurassic Hunt. What did he call me? <laughs> what, what, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Yeah, no, I'd I'd probably for the ones that I like the most, probably be, I like The Tomorrow War, I like Army of the Dead. And oh, I, like, I didn't like that. Uh, That's my worst film of the year. Army Is of it the really? Dead. Army yeah. of the Dead? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I know you guys thing. liked it. That's fine. But me, I'm, I'm, I'm a big absolute Jurassic Hunt. 
<laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 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 Hold on it's to always back. interesting when Rob posts up a new post and it's just words, it's shit. It's shit. <laughs> and then I message him and I went, is it bad? He goes, no, no I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> uh, he, he didn't like um, Jungle Cruise, but I really enjoyed that. Yeah. I can see that being a series like Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, it was that very was Pirates of the Caribbean. Really entertaining very... action adventure. Yeah. We really liked it. Really enjoyed it. Thought it was. Um, it's not the best of the best, but it was a nice, entertaining. It was like a Saturday, like you said, like a Saturday adventure film. You know? Saturday morning pictures, like the old yeah. Saturday morning pictures. Yeah. I, I Do you know what kind of... opens up next Friday when we when we uh, when we're in Birmingham? Free guy. Free guy. Yeah, that looks good. It's a shame I we can't go was... pictures. We can't go to that the... massive Odeon they got there. It's amazing. I think Jungle Cruise is a cross between Romance in the Stone, Indiana Jones, and Pirates. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was a bit like Mummy meets Pirates Caribbean, but I've. Do you know what my favourite part about it was? Jack Whitehall. Yeah, it was good, wasn't he? Oh, it's weird seeing him without beard. Yeah, he looked kind of odd, but it worked. I thought he was. He was just like his dad. <laughs> I think he was playing his dad. Uh, Michael Whitehall and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and because his dad tweeted. When he saw that he went to see the film, and he was like, his dad tweeted, "Finally, Jack has finally got some decent clothes to wear for a change," and he, and he posted all the photos of him wearing exactly what he wore in the movie. It was really funny, but no, he was fantastic. I thought he stole the film for me. I yeah. like he's a bit like the John Hannah of the Mummy. He just he just but he stole it. Absolutely stole it for me. Yeah, I mean the two are good, Emily and it, the Rock. It was that mixture of of Rick. Uh, Evie and and um, yeah, Jonathan's character wasn't it really? Yeah, and it... you think the German guy was overly calm? Oh, he's crap. <laughs> Je yeah, uh, Jesse Plemons. He was in what was it? He was in um, he was in um, Fargo with yeah. He's, he in that, was... he's also in that film um, Game Night with Jason. Yeah, Bateman. that's right. He was the cop, wasn't he? I tell he you, made... yeah. His character kind of reminded me of a camp royal. Uh, that German, the German guy in the Lost Ark with the hat, the, the Gestapo, oh, yeah. picked yeah. up the thing he had burnt his hand and they had to put it in the home. It's kind of like a camp version of that. <laughs> <laughs> when he said in the jingle, and he was like, sorry, the jingle, come again, jungle, oh, jungle, right. <laughs> no, I thought, I, I thought he was the weakest part of the film because his accent was terrible. But he's a good actor, but I think he was miscast. But... I thought he did in that film, though. Shia LaBeouf swinging across the trees with lots of monkeys. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Alan says... Oh, sorry, Alan, I've lost it. He's going to ask about Top Gun again, isn't he? No, he's not. No, oh. no without a doubt, his favourite Bond theme is Goldfinger. I like gold. Oh. As, as a keeper. Are you supposed to be watching Top Gun then? He, I've never seen Top Gun and he sent me Top Gun and he keeps asking me to watch it. So I am actually, I'm off. Katie's not working on, uh, Katie's working this weekend. So I'm, I'm going to watch Top Gun this weekend, I promise. So you're watching Kermit. You've got my word on that. Expect a review of Top Gun. <laughs> You're going to bom, nap bom, for the next couple of days. Bom, bom. You have um, bom, 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 bom. the um, danger zone. You can change yeah, he'll want to go out and get himself a motorbike, wouldn't you? <laughs> My grand used to ride a motorbike. Thanks for that. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, sing a song. <sighs> Why would you want that? No, somebody else wants you to see us. Right? <laughs> Everybody frozen. <laughs> Why I think my husband so. Oh, right. Here's I, a, freeze, a, I won't have to sing, will I? Here's, here's an interesting one. Who do you I want can't. to be the next one and Doctor Who? Who would you like to see? Oh, what happened we've done. We've done the Bond thing. Oh. Um. I, I disappeared, by the way. You guys went off. Oh, oh yeah, you're, you're frozen. 
At least you're smiling, kind of. You're frozen. You got wind. You got trapped wind. <laughs> oh, of course, the face is. <laughs> and he's not I'm moving. Still... <laughs> Am I still here? You're still here. We can hear you. Frozen in time. That's a good time for a song, wouldn't it? <laughs> Actually, what what are the chords to um, the, the shit we bought? Uh, it's C, F, and G. It's very simple. Shall I remove you from the stream and you come back in? He's oh, gone. Really? Oh. Well. Oh, we've got now. Am I here? Have we got your guitar? Got a black screen. Your bonce has gone. Hang on then. Now he's buggered off completely. Bloody hell, they can put a man on the moon, but you can't live stream sodding 200 miles on. I know, isn't it crazy? Oh. Oh. <sighs> Got me, you. Here he comes. Is he going to come back? I hear. Let's see if we can add him and see if he's not. Hey, he's moving. <laughs> Was it CFG? It's, yeah, it's. Um... It's C, uh, G, C, and then C, G, C, and then F, G, C. That's so very easy. So what's C, C, G, C, C, and G, C, F, G. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Start what's singing that bloody oasis song. Bye, <laughs> <laughs> but what, what's the rhythm then? Alright, I'll play it and you can play along. Sorry, you go away for a minute, Paulie. We're just going to do a band rehearsal. <laughs> so it's. I was only joking. Oh, I know again. Welcome back to Big Paulie's live show. And our special oh. guest this afternoon is Big Paulie. This, was, <laughs> this is like an old cassette tape I used to have to try to teach her how to play guitar. <laughs> and now we can play G chord. Put your one finger here, one finger there, one and finger, that finger there. Did you see like this. Go on, say hello. Look, it's Mrs. Magpie. Oh, hello. Hello, Mrs. Magpie. Hello, Mrs. Magpie. Hi. Got two magpies. Yep. Um, excuse the state of me. I've just been doing yoga and I'm just going for a run. So. Oh, I forgot to tell you this is mine. You've got air. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> Great. I'll be looking forward to meeting you next week. I feel sorry for you. I really do. Oh, my God. There Good. we go. Yeah. yeah. Never going to live then. Friday, <laughs> Saturday, lads. Friday, Saturday. Oh, yes. First round is on you. What? <laughs> go on, go. Right. See you later. Bye. See ya. Right, was it C? Oh, I'm joking. <laughs> Should we move on to the next question? Yep. Yep, yep. No, he really wants to play it, don't you? <laughs> you play any Oasis, Paul? Yep. Go on. Which one? <laughs> oh, please, go on to the next question. Which, which song? I'll, I'll, give me a song. You need that. I can't play that. You can catch. What other chords are Wonderwall? It's. No, we're not going to go there. You play it. Um. <laughs> uh, e F D A S S four. Oh, you carry on, mate. <laughs> um, carry on. Gonna be the day that we're gonna throw it back to you. Bye. Bye. Hey, what? There you go. There you go. Very good. Yeah. Shit, the chords, clap. Look, while I'm there, we right do now. the same chords. It's um, Boulevard of Broken Dreams by Green Day. Oh yes, yeah, good song. Yeah, good song. and it's also the same chords of Writing to Reach You by Travis. There we go. Hey, ladies and gentlemen and children, concludes our musical interlude. Hmm. 
<laughs> I think that's Portney's way of saying shut the fuck up. <laughs> Have you got any interesting <laughs> comments that are not asking us to choose between battle and margarine? Oh, Lurpak every day of the week. Oh, yeah, Lurpak's the winner. Then not my words. Anchor. Or oh, Aldi, Dale, Dale, Dale Pack, or whatever it's called from Aldi. When guests come on, it kind of goes to crap. <laughs> <laughs> when, when you ask people to come on and it goes wrong. <laughs> uh, oh, hang on. What? Who was more on fire at the end of Revenge of the Sith? Anakin or John Williams? I would probably see Anakin because he lost half his legs. He was pretty scalding hot, like. Yeah, Why he, is John Williams on fire? Probably because of the musical the score. score. With his score. His musical score. Hmm. <laughs> I say Anakin. I still think they shouldn't have replaced Sebastian Shaw, though, with Anakin at the end of... Uh, no. Jedi. No. I didn't like that at all. They should have just kept... Sebastian Shaw. Funny enough, I'm sure of that. playing Jedi Fallen Order. Darth Vader's on at the end of that. Um, um, Spoiler if nobody's um, played the game. Sorry. <laughs> I played it. It's alright. It's good. Do you enjoy it? Yeah. I, I, I wanted it to be better, though. Yeah, I got a bit bored of it halfway. Yeah. It's alright. Yeah, I'd give it a 7.5 out of 10 game. It's about right. That's what I'd give it. Favourite movie quote? Uh, Alan's already got his. You're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> well, for Jamie on Saturday, you're going to need a bigger bed. <laughs> I will be <hate> there. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to need a bigger tub of lube. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bring extra. <laughs> I'm bringing a multi pack. Favourite movie quote? Obviously, Carol Bunga is a good one, but. That's a bit obvious. Um, I really like Welcome to the Party, pal. And I'm just looking forward to whooping E.T.'s ass. <laughs> yeah. Um, I like that. And uh, there's quite a lot of them, to be honest. It's tricky to pick a favourite. I do like them. Um, uh, they mostly come out at night, mostly. 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 <laughs> are we all fucked now? What the hell are we doing now? <laughs> Yeah. Game over, man. Game over. <laughs> but my favorite movie quote is probably going to be My name is Maximus Decimus, blah, blah, blah. Husband to a uh, whatever, that one. He's forgotten it already. <laughs> <laughs> Father to a murdered son, a husband to a murdered wife, and I shall have my revenge or some old vengeance. Yeah. But I tell you, one of my favorites is from um, Bubba Hotep. And he says, I'll be damned if I let some soul sucking mummy. Come round here and flush my friend's souls right down the toilet or something like that. It always cracks me up. I could, it's a long quote, but oh, it's a fantastic quote. Bruce Campbell. Obviously, Amazing. we've got the usual, like the Terminator and, you know, uh, box. the box of chocolates, which apparently in America, they don't actually tell you what chocolates you get. I didn't know that. Yeah, they, no, I was for a school, but they were like, you don't know what you're going to get. I'm like, well, hang on for us. Look, there's, there's a little, little booklet there. Yeah. You. I brought that up the other day. They said, we don't get anything like that in America in, in, in box of chocolates. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's a coconut one. You want to avoid that one. That's praline. <laughs> I love coconut. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> Sorry. Of course you do. Well, of course I do. Yeah, I, mean, I, am, like, uh, that's, I think my probably one of my favourites. Great no, Scott it's... could be a good movie quote. Great Scott, yeah, it's yeah. really heavy. Yeah, you only suppose they blow their bloody doors off. <laughs> That's a good one. I should do for our for our like vlog or something. I should do the intro. It's kind of like you know the alarm that the uh, uh, founding fathers of America do for the purge. The annual purge is about to begin, and then do the vlog like that. <laughs> <laughs> Another one is, mm, do or do not, there is no try. Yeah, yeah. So many in there. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Mm. Jerry, the movie was fun. That film I enjoyed, Cat and Mouse Chase. You check it out. No, I haven't checked that out yet. No, I haven't. It's here, I haven't watched it yet. You Have you both seen Jerry? 
No, no it doesn't interest me, to be honest. I'd probably get it for the kids to watch and watch it in the background. Uh, <laughs> the old excuse in the book, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I will, the only animated one I want to get is Raya, because I really enjoyed that. But, uh, there you go. My son has just remarked how much Geordie pretends like Deck from Ant and Deck. <laughs> that's probably because we're all from Newcastle, so that's probably why. Just imagine a very small man. Jason's not here. <laughs> <laughs> he is, you just can't see him, he can't reach the camera. <laughs> oh, bless him, he's all right. <laughs> I actually, um, I saw the, the Millennium in with um, Ant. Because when I was uh, um, Christmas leave and summer leave from uni, I worked in a pub on the, the quayside, which is randomly the one that, in, that Harrison Ford went for a meal when he was there. Um, and it was called the Something in Fergin at the time. And I used to work during the day and he used to come in with his mates, play a pool, and then he was there for um, New Year. So I always remember when New Year came in, he said, can I have two bottles of champagne? I was like, yeah, there you go. He goes, so he gave us his card to pay for. I was... So I goes, can you sign this? And he went, yeah. I goes, is that your autograph? It's shit. Um, and that was it. <laughs> <laughs> he never spoke to me again. So, cool. there you go. But not everybody in Newcastle's met, by the way. We have uh, Film Flick. Josh. Uh, Meg's. Meg's movie. Meg's movie. If you hey, could. Megan. Yes. Legend Megan. When is she on? <laughs> End of all sometime. Uh, yeah, I've got. I don't off the top of my head. The only one on top of my head I know is obviously the Sue and Dave because it's the first one. Um, but yeah, I've got Megan coming up. Um, I've also messaged Richard in search of physical media. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny. I messaged him. I want you to come on a live stream, and he goes, "All right, are you a YouTuber?" I'm like, "Well, you know that Facebook page <laughs> that you post on. That's mine. That's me." <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to having Megan on. It's great because other than Sue, I'll, like, we'll certainly do what more um, females, girls, women, and everything to come on and do more. Mm -hmm. and, 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 um, she knows her stuff, I tell you. She's just, really that's good. That's why I want to get on. Because I asked uh, Thingy of pop Popcorn Chat, but she didn't want to. Fair enough. Um, but yeah, Megan's all good to go. So I'm, I'm more than looking forward to it. Like, I've obviously spoken to her like this, but I'm sure once you get on a chat, it just goes out the window, really. So yes. Anyway, that's, that's it. I don't know. It, it's probably. Actually, she might be the one after that. Could be the 29th of August. I'm not too sure. But yes, yeah. she's on. She is booked in. Booked in. Booked. Booked. Booked in. Booked. Um, Did you also notice, sorry, go away, but um, John from Mandor Chalavet, you notice his t shirt says film? Mm -hmm. film. Yeah, because obviously we say film. I'm going to go watch a film. It's film, Paul. No, it's film. So, yes. There you go. <laughs> Uh, if you could be friends with any of your favourite movie characters, who would it be? And why? I'll probably say Ray Stance, because I love the paranormal, and I can go on the discussions with him. I think for me, it would be him, because I can get my lightsaber out then. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't know. <laughs> <that's> <laughs> <all> your force. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> uh, Jesus. I would say toilet break, but I don't want to say what you're going to be doing with your lightsaber. <laughs> turning it on and make it go. Who else? I'm trying to think who I would. Yeah. Can you hear me? I'm afraid yeah. so. Right, Unfortunately. Because Rob, Rob's ringing me, but obviously I'm on a live stream, so I have to ring him back. There we go. Don't mind. No, oh, yeah. poor Rob. Robbie, Robbie, Robbie. It's Rob's so popular here that one of my daughters is named the Big Fat Pigeon after him. <laughs> Big Fat Pigeon? Yeah, so a pigeon comes in the back garden all the time. My youngest, Maya, goes, there's Rob. I'm going to say, yes, it is. <laughs> I'm sure I'd be honoured with that. Jamie, you need to watch Top Gun. I know. I know. Play, play, play Nando. Rob, can you hear me? <laughs> Sent it years ago. You promised before. I'm on the live stream. <laughs> no, it's because I'm on the live stream as well. Yeah. Hang on. Can you say something? Oh, you're not. Oh, I ain't got it. Shit. All right. Come. Shit. Shit. 
The shit. Look, I'm holding my knob in my hand, thinking all of you. Lovely. <laughs> Yeah, what, right, you're going to play with your pinky, are you? <laughs> <laughs> you're supposed you. to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> I didn't think that would work coming through my uh, watch, but there you go. Yeah. Actually, Paul, I'm surprised you haven't. Have you got an Apple Watch? A what? Say what? When? What time? Have you, have you got an Apple Watch? No. I thought you would with all your gadgets and everything. Well, everything else, Apple, I just haven't. I don't, because I don't wear wristwatches anymore. No, I don't. I don't wear watches. You know, if I want the time on my phone, I'd never bother with a wristwatch. And they piss me off in the cinema. They right. really piss me off in the cinema. You go to see a film, instead of going on their bloody phones, it's their bloody wristwatches all light up. Oh, a bunch of bell ends. Oh, no. No, no, no. no. I can't stand it. It's either their phones or their bloody watches that might light up in the cinema. Oh, like when I see Quiet Place Part 2, the guy in front of me all the way through the film had his phone out. Oh, why bother? Batsman. Why bother? Absolute belly. It's, it's two hours, isn't it? Can you not look at your phone for two hours? No. Uh, Paul, yeah, on a tab break. Hey? Uh, you have a tab break? I, uh, hang on. I just <laughs> copy this and send this because we, we uh, have another joiner now. Is it Rob? <laughs> no, it's not actually. Oh. Uh, Rob's, what's Rob, is Rob still out delivering pizza and shit? Yeah, yeah, Rob will be doing his deliveries and everything. Yeah, yeah. So, so if he used to come on, it would be later on, I would have thought. Oh, we're we going for the eight hours, by the way, because I've got kids tonight, so it's all right. <laughs> Probably only until about six or half six at the latest. The wife's gone to the I've got, cinema. I've got, so. a, I've got a, oh, hang on, I've got to learn how to do this. I can't remember how to do this now. It's a super chat. Ten Canadian dollars, I think that is. I thought that said a hundred dollars. I thought, my God, you, you're splitting it with us, are you? <laughs> Where's the paper check on? Where's there it is. <laughs> 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 right on the noggin. <laughs> what is the co uh, question? Oh, hang on. Hang on. What is the farthest you've gone to buy a movie away from your home? Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> fuck, right. I'm off. See you later. Uh, oh, well, everybody's pissed off now. <laughs> oh. Look at that beautiful face. Look at the state of it. I just got caught out in the rain. Rain? Oh. Are you all wet? Yeah, and it's raining. <laughs> oh, we gentlemen, you wait if I leave and come back in. Does that mean they're going to be who's going to be on top? <laughs> I don't mind being on the bottom. Maybe you should go out. You're yeah, not getting on top of me, sunshine. I'm telling you now. This is the <laughs> it's... Birmingham trip, not the Birmingham trip. That's Rob's job. To, is there a way to turn either Jamie or Pete the other way so that it's head to toe? <laughs> <laughs> That's Rob's job. Look at them. Oh, it's like an OnlyFans dream, your hotel room on Saturday. Oh, God, no. Oh, what have I done? Why well, does it not make it such a big deal? Is it? It's like, it's going to be cheaper than getting single rooms. There's more, it's more money to spend on films. Simple as that. Yeah. And on Saturday night, more ass for me. The fact that Rob wants to fuck Jamie in the ass has nothing to do with me. <laughs> I just, need to, I just need to remember I've got to get a taxi from my hotel to, to your one. Did you see that? What was that? What is that? My light, my light just went... Well, my light has got to go. Yeah, I'm see? staying at the oh, six yeah. star Four Seasons in Berlin. Uh, 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 yeah, if, I, if I disappear because it's a power cut, all right, just to let you know. We're staying in the one season, which is probably winter, so. <laughs> well, somebody just died in my room. You farted again. Yeah. That could be it. But let me just check if anyone's died downstairs. So how far away is the, the hotel from ours then? What the hell's going on? I don't know. Well, he's messing, isn't he? He's messing. I'm, I'm messing about with it, yeah. Trying to find the oh, best. what about the channel? Oh. Hello. He's on the phone now. Who now? No, I'm at the same time. Yeah, well, um, I think 
I just hope you're not going to have a right next to me. Otherwise, I'll never get any sleep. <laughs> Where is this going? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For your room service in a hotel, do you clean up semen? Yeah? All right, yeah. Cool. <laughs> and that's what coming in, doesn't it? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm right, I so I'll be going to change that in a minute. Oh, I don't know. He's on the no. babe station. That's See, normally at this point, I just put him on mute until he's finished on the floor. <laughs> Is he trying to tell yeah. Pete where to deliver the pizza? Um, Rob, I mean. It's the network that's not right on it, babe. So I've got, I've got three, I've got three ugly bastards looking at me because I'm on a live stream at the moment. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Another one. Uh, uh, all right, I'll, I'll be back to you soon. Nice one. We'll do. We oh, get off the you. fucking phone. <laughs> when, you got, up. when when you got a bird like that, yeah, yeah. Make sure you call her first. Make sure she's oh, alright. Oh, you hang up on me now, have you? Yeah. So how is everybody? Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. We, I have to are say, we excited? I'm really, really excited for next week. If, if I'm being perfectly honest. Yeah, mm. should be good. Um, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna hug you and grab your ass as well. Just to warn you, you're gonna get, yeah, you're gonna get a. Uh... Please do. It's more I'll get, and I'm fucking the wife won't do that. Can I join the queue? <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna jump on you first. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I'm really scared right now. <laughs> He's listening. To you know, I think, like, like I said, like to Rob, it's like, I'm not that bothered about looking in shops and all that. I'm just, I'm more than happy even if we didn't go to the shops and just sat down somewhere and just had a natter all day without having to go on live stream and things like that. I think mm -hmm. that's, for me, we've made such good friends since we've been on YouTube. It's just nice to just maybe not talk about films. Well, obviously we will, but just know each other personally perhaps and then obviously which will be in private um not like that um, <laughs> yeah and then when we get home it'll be hey big paul you know in that in that jamie a wanker yeah yeah well he, he thought you were a wanker as well but he didn't tell you behind your back and then, then yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah i'm hoping there'll be like some kind of forbidden plot I'm, I'm actually looking to see if i can get some kind of like movie and t-shirts things like that more than like thumbs i think because there's not that much here in Darlow, and there'll mm. be stuff in Newcastle, but I don't go home that often. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, definitely looking forward to looking at other shops, you know, because yeah. I, there's one charity shop I go in, I get nothing ever, and I picked up like five different Doctor Who's the other day. First time they've had Blu rays in, in like two years. <laughs> so you've got to keep trying, but I want to I try another city, you know? Yeah. We'll get home, and on Monday we'll be watching like Southeast News or something, and there'll be a bit of like, these hooligans that pound on Birmingham at the weekend. Yeah, Tom Cruise was accosted during filming. <laughs> I saw him and just went, "Oh!" Never made it. still shame, 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 it's not going because we could have done a size comparison. Who? Oh, Jason would be up to his knees. Jason. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's like the hermit version. <laughs> and the Hobbit. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, the Wayne, what was that? Wayne Bobbit Hobbit. Yeah, there's people watching. Let's get people involved, people. This is Paul. Let's not take over his stream. Anyway, got a what is it? What is the furthest you've gone to buy a, a movie away from your home? It's with your nation from the US or Canada, rather. Uh, what's the furthest you've been to, to Blu ray hunt? Australia. Fuck off. Really? <laughs> yeah, I've been there, dickhead. <laughs> I ordered from Australia. Yeah, I, I had a look at a few shops when I was in Florida a couple of weeks ago, yeah. I probably went to Walmart. Amazing. Loved it. Half the stuff they have on their shelf, I would buy in an instant over here. It's, it's amazing. Yep. I agree. I, 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 I wouldn't say I would go far to buy it. I'm guessing if I went on holiday, then I would have a look. Yeah. I wouldn't but, go out my way just to go for Blu-ray hunting, but yeah, if we're there, then... Mm. I don't know. Where the this I've been? Oh, ask me next week. <laughs> Birmingham. <laughs> I bought one. Birmingham. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It all comes down to sourcing. It's like in America, you got FYI, and you know they've got some good collector stuff. But I mean, if I, saw, if I knew somewhere that definitely had Titans of Titans of Colt and stuff like that on shelf, I'd be there. 
Mm. But yeah, you don't hear. Yeah. I mean, I'd have to get behind Paulie because you know he would beat the shit out of us and buy them all. But other than that, oh, of... oh. yeah, and that. <laughs> we have another question from the same guy with a further twenty dollars. Whoa! Really? I do, I have to do I have to split all this up? No, you can just give it to us on next Friday. It's fine. Yeah, oh, VX I... CX vouchers. Actually, <laughs> I have to say thank you to Paulie. He's sending me. He's going to give me a film next week that he doesn't didn't want. I don't even want to say anything, Paul, but thank you very much for that. I tried to phone you earlier to say thank you in person. So. Yeah, yeah, I, I did hear a tinkle come in from my pocket. I was in the middle of Tesco's at the time. <laughs> ah, <laughs> sorry about that. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was on vibrate. <laughs> oh. oh, no, that was his car. That was his car warning him that the person in the boot had escaped. <laughs> <laughs> what the third one was the fourth one. Yeah. Both. Are you going to make merchandise for people to buy? Um, well, I've I've got merchandise up on Instagram. Really. It's still there, isn't it? Big yeah. poorly merchandise. I haven't yeah, sold it in about three years. Got <laughs> You've got to advertise yourself. Put yourself out, <laughs> you? I think my, my was Justin. Justin Key. He bought a t-shirt, a tote bag. He bought the T-shirt that said "Stop sticking DDs up your ass and get into the 21st century." <laughs> Maybe I should sell bullets. <laughs> so yeah, if you're on Instagram, go to Big Pool Merchandise and have a look. I might revamp. Them. What we could do, just right. I've just just Bruce pop brothers. Brothers. sell some Birmingham T-shirts. Mankini get a caricature of each one of us who's going to Birmingham. Put her on a T-shirt and then put blue tubers on tour and just put. That will be it. <laughs> That's it. Thanks very much. I'm gone now. Okay. Yeah. On the back. That'd be it. Yeah. The, blue, the Birmingham blue Bugger blue. Squad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> yeah. So I'm doing a scratch card. And ain't winning shit. So. What are you doing? Scratch, scratch card. Cat and scratch. Some of it is. Hundred thousand. Oh, you're buying the That's the one. Well, I'm planning on winning on Saturday anyway, so we'll just wait. <laughs> Maybe. Like a groove. Like a oh, groove. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, hey, man. What the fuck? Right, do we men's Jossie's fucking giant? Oh, he said yeah, Paul's watch just looks like wheels, man. I thought it actually said looks like Will's mum. <laughs> Who's Will? He's out in between, isn't it? Oh yeah. That wasn't my wife though, no, it? I've got someone else coming on Friday next week. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, do you want to explain it now? We need the music with that the bad pie series. <laughs> okay. Oh. Jesus. No. I think that's Jamie. Jamie, guess what? Guess what I won? On the, lot, on the ticket. Two quid. Fuck all. Fuck all. <laughs> <laughs> Two quid. 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 Hang on a minute, a fucking demonetized. I'm not a bunch of cunts. <laughs> I tell you, you know, I had a good day. Four comments. I had four comments. One was saying, don't swear in front of your wife. It's very bad and she'll leave you. I was like, she would be so bloody lucky. You say, well, she doesn't complain when I go, fucking take that finger, fucking bitch. Yeah, yeah. Don't complain then. <laughs> what we should do in Birmingham, we should go into a KFC. And then video each other and go, which is your favourite type of chicken? So then we've got an answer. And then go into like a Sainsbury's and go to the cheese aisle and go, can everybody pick out the favourite cheese, please? So then we've got, <laughs> so we've got an answer to everything. Yeah. Now, when that can't, uh, that can't answer the question next time, we're all right. Yeah. <laughs> please refer to the Birmingham vlog. Thank you. Next question. Yeah. Jake, that was a fantastic Mr. B. Mr. B, that was Matt Lucas. <laughs> Mr. Boone. Oh. He's from my neck of the woods, just so you know. What, Rowan? Yeah. 
I've heard he's quite quiet. Yeah, he's. I, I don't know, he's but he's very. Somebody yeah. else said it was a good impression of Mr. Bean. Oh. I must oh. be when I was trying to do Yoda or something. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, yeah. Mr. Bean. Oh, Kermit it says, "I knew. I I feel the need. The need for speed. If you'd watch I'm Top Gun." Then, you know, oh. I told you. <laughs> We're on a live stream. Get off your fucking phone. <laughs> He's not listening to me, fellas. Say that again. Pete, get off. Say that again. Get off your fucking phone. That's my daughter. <laughs> get off your fucking that's my, phone. That's my fourteen year old daughter. Yeah, I saw this. I'll... Yeah, bollocks, shut up, you little shit. Uh, um, when, when are you going there? What did you call me? <laughs> when are you going there? I'm going next Friday with you, you twat. All right, I'll be there in five. Bye. That's such Bye. a good idea, doing the stream. All right. He's fucking hung up on me again, the bastard. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. She had 45 quid out of me the other day, and she wants another 10 now. I'm like, what are, you, what are you spending it on, for God's sake? Lewis, that's my girl. Don't have kids, I tell you. Working on it. Apparently we That's made a good bit. podcast crew. Do we? Be Do quite we? interested in having a podcast, wouldn't it? Is that way you just listen to it rather than watch it? Or... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it might be better for the viewers. that are on there. YouTube or video yeah. anyway. Yeah. So I think you can just upload the audio to like Spotify and shit. Well, not that and shit. <laughs> You doing you doing some work, are you? No, I can hear somebody typing the ring as well. Yeah, yeah. It's not me. Good to see Matt Luke oh. in the live chat. So I'm not typing, oh. but I want that one. I want that one. I don't like it. Hello, Blue Ray Bullet. How are you doing? AK movies. I got caught in the rain going to the shop, so I'm a bit wet and drabby but and i need to shave but i look like shit but other than that i'm good thank you for asking you lot should not be swearing on youtube when people watch it could not you could look bad on yourself and the words the swear words well i had a bollocks <laughs> what did he fucking say oh fuck do i know mate <laughs> this is the only best video down the fucking window believe the me the there are worse videos than this <laughs> This is a group of friends excited that they're going to see each other in the in the flesh, and I don't mean naked. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's being reserved for Birmingham. Yeah, bugger, 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 bugger him. Birmingham. Birmingham. Shut the fuck up! I'm trying to sleep next door. <laughs> yeah, let's find the. Let me just find the soundtrack for different strokes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I've brought that map none. Well, uh, Sophie's retro revival. Yeah, this is definitely a budget full Monty live stream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Not seeing my three key suite. From the same charity shop, I picked up three disc collectors of Ben Hur and all of the oh, Bowman Suite. I picked up the three D extended editions of every Hobbit movie for fifty p. That's pretty good. Yeah, I can't complain at that. No. What do you think I should shout that for? 65. 200 quid. I've got it on Facebook for 50. I've no bites yet. Uh, I wouldn't go as low as 50. I mean, what's, it, what's the exchange for CDX? Uh, it's well, you can't because it's German. Oh, but if the, if the, the UK edition, what was it? Uh, I don't know. I didn't look. Hang it's CEX bloody take anything. I've seen you bleed in the middle. I'm, if it's CEX, they give you £4 for it and sell it for 80 quid. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> what, why are you spending that one anyway? Oh, because I'm going to get the steals. Oh, the ones over here. Oh yeah, I'm coming to rob you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, you know, um, what's the Davy up to? They've taken the payment for my next two, uh, the two uh, Disney that are due out in like two weeks' time. They're taking the money today. They've taken four lots of some people's money. Mm. Yeah. The Pixar's and also uh, the other one that's coming out. So it's like 80, 80 quid. A lot of people. I, I only ordered Pixar one, so I've only, uh, they've only charged me for the two. 
I'm going to have to go for a sec, guys. I'll come back. You know he's a shit. No, the wife's calling me. See you in a sec. Oh. 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 <laughs> See you in a bit. Oh, my God. Oh, dear. Pete's on the bottom. Uh, Meg, uh, Lucifer, what? Sebastian's great choice. Oh, I think that might be an answer to another question. I haven't watched Lucifer yet. Is that any good? Um, I've seen, like, two episodes. I think Lou and Claire watched two episodes, and they turned it off, but it's not really their sort of thing anyway. Hmm. Well, we're watched. quite dead up in the comments now. We've caught up with all the comments. So whatever you want to chat Probably about. Probably because nobody wants to watch. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's, it's a bit of swearing and everybody pisses off. <laughs> oh, no, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm sure I probably went across some uh, messages here, so maybe we can find her. Oh, yeah, there we go. What's your favourite Dwayne Johnson movie? <laughs> yeah, I like Dwayne Johnson. So do I. No. We've had this discussion before where, you, where I said to you, I don't own one of his movies. And you went, but well, you've got The Mummy Returns. And I was like, t t kind of, then, okay, I might own one of them. Technically. Um, <laughs> but I Te will get Jungle Like I said, Jungle Cruise is probably the only one that I will actually specifically buy for him as a lead role, but everything else is. Lucifer, uh, actually somebody with Lucifer, yeah. Uh, what do you think of The Office US? I'm on season three. I think it's better than the UK version. I'm enjoying it. I really like it at the moment. I, I'm i still on season two, coming to the end of season two. But uh, I think with the expanded story outside of, you know, what we get on the UK. I love the characters. I think they're great characters. My daughter has it on streaming all the time. Yeah. Yeah. How many seasons is it? Nine. The Blu ray's coming to the UK, you know. 120 quid. That's not going to happen. Yeah, this is, so there's nine series. Uh, he's only, uh, Steve Crow's only in it for seven of them, I believe. Uh, but yeah, me and the missus watched this. It's on Prime now, on Netflix, or whatever. Yeah. But we watched this, we've watched this three times back to back. Not obviously all at once, but we always go back and watch it. Um, I, I love the UK office. It's great for what it is. I, I like to think of them two separate ones. I like them both, but I had a preference would be this one because mm. the characters in them are a lot more expansive. Um, They're definitely better than all of them. But yeah, so I so got that for a tenner. So after season seven, then. Say again? Who replaces Steve Carell? Uh, there's loads of different managers that come in. Okay. There's, um, what do you call him? Oh, I forgot his name. Who's the, um, the guy who played Age of Ultron? Ultron, what's his name? James Spader. James Spader. Yeah, he, yeah, he comes in as a kind of owner, and he puts other people. Um, Catherine Tate, sometimes a boss. Um, so they don't really replace him as a full-time manager. So people with a kind of alternate and things like that. But at the end of it, Dwight Schrute becomes a manager, as in like uh, Rena Wilson. <laughs> Spoiler. <laughs> I'm only two. Thanks, man. I didn't know that. <laughs> What did he just spoil? I missed it. The Office. Oh, I've not seen it, so that's all right. You'll be doing your own version, won't you? The Old Office. <laughs> oh, no. On to another can. We've got another American. Jesus, you're going through that Dr. Pepper, Jamie. Cherry vanilla. I oh, know. Cherry vanilla. But is it, is it good as that picture I shared with you? What was it? Professor Peppy? Oh, was it? Oh, is that the, um, the Audi one? Yeah. Didn't yeah. taste anything like Dr Pepper at all. Not a chance. No, it, it, it's a cheap version. It's all right. You can drink it, but it's not. As, it's not Dr Pepper. No, Dr Pepper is the the balls. Dr Pepper Zero is nice. I don't like the yeah. sugar. Anymore. Yeah, I don't. I don't drink a lot of sugary one. I'm just having a what, day off today. I'm enjoying myself. Pep, uh, the Pepsi Max Cherry. That's really nice. That's all. That's, that that's my favourite. Yeah. That's my favourite. But and I seem to like it that no no one else likes. Root beer. No, because it tastes like Domestos. Not that you've obviously drank Domestos. So I'll just. Well, those there. people have said it's more like um, mouthwash, dentist mouthwash. Is it like aniseed? Is it aniseed in it? Mm. Never liked it. A and W is best root beer. 
It's like iced tea. When I go over and see my family, they drink iced tea and stuff, and I can't get that. Don't get it. Can't do it. I don't know if you've got any more. Oh, I don't, I don't know. Do you, do you just change it to like Facebook chat? So we have to do, do it with publicly. Uh, Last chance, Chez. John Cena is better than Dwayne Johnson for his comedic timing. He now he actually did name it in Suicide Squad. John Cena was brilliant, and I never and I never liked John Cena in the films. I think John Cena's a better. Uh, I, I think um, Dwayne Johnson's better than John Cena personally. Um, but he, oh, John, yeah, yeah. But I think uh, John was good in Suicide Squad. Yeah. Although he's referring to the bum hole, that was really. <laughs> so I've got, I've got vibes for the the spin-off show then. So as long as he's and you know the character. Yeah, I look forward to that. Uh, Mac, Mac, stop swearing. Here we go. Next comment from <laughs> Big Mac, Max. Stop swearing. Fuck I've got off. another comment from Big Mac, Max. Stop. Swearing. Fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, you can't. That, ne that never works. <laughs> uh, what's your favourite guilt pleasure movie? And mine is the Vampire Slayer movie, as I know not many people like that. That film is uh, fantastic. I is love it really? that. I'm, I'm really brilliant. clicked with it. I'm oh, I love the series. I remember, I remember the. It was it Christy Swanson, wasn't it? Who played? Yeah. Me. And I, I loved that film. And because Paul Pee Wee Herman's in it as well, one of the vampires. I loved it. And then of course, the new series came with Sam and Show Geller, which I think the show was better. But I yeah. still, me and my brother still love. That first film, I absolutely, I love it. He's forgotten. Was it Luke Perry that was in it as well? Who? Luke Perry, yeah, yeah. Luke Perry's yeah. in it. Yeah, Luke Perry's in it as well. Yeah, I, I actually met. Months, but I, I do prefer the series. I met Luke Perry. Um, he was doing uh, when Harry met Sally with Alison Hannigan from Buffy the Vampire Slayer series, and Joss Whedon was at the stage door with me, and I didn't because then you didn't have um, you didn't have YouTube or internet. So I didn't know what he looked like, Joss Whedon, and he was a bastard. He was talking to me. He was talking to me about um, Firefly, saying that Joss Whedon, who wrote Buffy, is working on a series called Firefly. And I said, "Oh, that sounds good." I think oh, he's a very clever chap. And then, like ten minutes later, this girl walked past and said, oh, "It's Joss Whedon," and he just took a look at me and went, "Like that, you, you bastard!" <laughs> <laughs> and he nicked my sharpie, the git. But yeah. Really nice fella at the time, but now he's a bit of a sod, apparently. So, yes. Yeah. Flame does that. <laughs> oh, that's, about, that's, like, that's like a preview for Birmingham, isn't it? <laughs> Your favourite guilty pleasure movie? What? Uh, probably The Notebook. Does that count? Does Zinnort? Is it Zinnort? Zinnort. No, I say Howard the Duck. Howard the fuck? Mm. I'm going to say North. Twilight. What? Twilight. Twilight. Kristen Stewart. Oh, I'm a Twilight fan. Get over it. Oh, poorly. Oh, no. What have you done? Best what vampire movie you ever made. I've lost five subscribers because you've said that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually I, do. I only one to go then. <laughs> no, I do enjoy the Twilight films for what they are. And don't say, I press your shit. I've watched the first one because of all the hype. And then after that, I was just like, is that it? And then I didn't watch any more. The first one's the only one worth watching, really. My guilty pleasure is Guardians of the Galaxy because I've watched that film way too many times for it to be mentally good for me. I think. I'm good. You watch it every day. Yeah. No, but, yeah. Look, you got a name of the best burger in the world. What do you expect? Zero cherry for me. It seems to be a lot of people's favourite, doesn't it? Never cherry liked. Pepsi Max. Uh -oh. Not Coke oh, I think we've got here. What's your favourite type of cheese? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Cheddar. I know. The cheese that is made backwards. Yes. 
right. he's he's where are we? Dick. Uh, Shadow, what? Shadow Wolfface. I have a question for all of you. What movie cool, would you want of cult to put out? Personally, for me, Constantine would be a good one. Oh, yeah. That's a good film. I like that film, yeah. Is that the one with um, Keanu Reeves? Yeah. Where he smokes like 20 packets of fags throughout the whole film. Mm. <laughs> that was well, quite good squad. Do you know what? I, I want Titans of Cult to bring out um, the Peter Jackson original trilogy. Oh, um, Brain Dead, um, the one of the finger and the monster. Bad taste. I got bad taste okay. in Brain Dead, and I've watched the, the one of the hippos and the else. Meet, meet the Feebles. That's it. Imagine that. Imagine that as a trilogy in Titan of Cult. That would be the dog's bollock. Yeah. I How about a, a Titans of Cult for the never-ending story? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why not? I'm sure Mr. Millership would be on that like a bitch. He'd be creaming his pants. So what they got next is um, Clockwork Orange, isn't it? The next one. Yeah, that's a film I've never seen actually. My mum saw it, but so didn't know what to make of it. What's this? What's this? Clockwork Orange. All oh, right, yeah, good film. Yeah, but I managed to get that before I sold out. Is it Space Jam or the new one where they're in the audience? Did anybody pre-order the Thing 4K set that's yeah. coming out? Yeah, not the steel book, but the uh, limited edition box set. The collection, there's, there's more in stock in HMB, wasn't there? Yeah. I I'm, may, I I'm can neither confirm or deny that I've ordered the steel book and the box set. Because your, <laughs> your wife is within this shop. The it's gone for a run. Well as well. I don't mind that, with Elizabeth Mary Winstead, it's all right. It was a, a good cool. film, yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, Gladiator as well as a Titan of Cult. That, that would probably fit in there nicely. Yeah. Yeah. Monster, and you could rather have an opinion of like maybe the shield or something. That yeah. could Monster look to fuck. Monster Squad, you could have like the card, couldn't you? Um, yeah. On... Oh, I'd love Teenage that Mutant Ninja Turtles. You get oh, four fuck yeah. with it. Cody, we're getting a 4K <laughs> Yeah. You know, I... That's the only film I would buy. I would actually buy a 4K for. It's your so. TV 4K, I can't remember. I got a 4K TV. Yeah, it's a Panasonic 65 inch. Oh. But um, oh, yeah. yours is bigger and than mine. I got two of those in the house. <laughs> <laughs> and a 55, and a thir and a 32 Good for you. Damn Twilight and the Notebook. Totally agree. <laughs> Uh, the wife loves the notebook. So. I've been a Coke man myself. Mm. I live in Georgia and it was created in a Twilight, Twilight. I've got the nice, the nice white one with the gold embossed. Mm. You don't really want to tell anybody that, really, though, do you? <laughs> I was thinking about doing it 4K, actually. <laughs> Hi, ladies. Would you like to come into my movie room? Okay, you'll see the embossed Twilight. Hello? 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 <laughs> And it's right next to my Fifty Shades of Shit box set. <laughs> You've got it. Oh, you got sent it, didn't you? That's right. I sent the DVDs, yeah. The DVDs, bunch, yeah. Of, bunch of Chaz. Bunch of Chaz. Chaz. Yeah. Ooh, oh, we get, we've got another one. Stop swearing, dudes. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, hello. Free, free speech. Eleven lazy bar bastards. Barmaids. Barmaids. Seventeen lazy barmaids. That's sexist. Clockwork yeah. is Kubrick's best. Do you know, I'm, to be honest, I've never really been a huge fan of Stanley Kubrick. Mm. I've only ever seen two films, maybe. Shining. <clears throat> Shining Full and uh, Full Metal Jacket. Space Oddity, yeah. Full Metal it's Jacket. Jacket. It's, it's oh, Marmite, Metal Jacket. his film. Yeah. Full I'm Metal Jacket. Give Clockwork Orange a go, though, but... I I'll tell you what, I had Full Metal Jacket on the other day because I had the four, it was when it first came out, and it got into um, the wife's head about this is my rifle, this is my gun, this is for fad, and this is for fun, and she had that in her, in her, in her head for two days, and then she forgot about it, and I went, this is my rifle, this, and she was like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I watched, what was it called, Eyes Wide Shut, I thought that was the shittiest thing. I haven't seen that. I've got the box there, but I haven't watched that one. Same with Lolita. I know, and... I know where uh, Nicole Kibben gets it, but it was so boring. You've got not much to look at there. 
<laughs> like a bloody wash basin. Ginger. <laughs> Scrambled eggs. Ooh. Stop swearing. Stop it's just stop sweating. Yeah, I can't help it. I can't help it, is it? Oh, yeah, it's too hot in here. I'm scared and hot in here. Shall I, shall, I, um, shall I take me? Um, no. Okay. <laughs> Swear more. The camera won't be able to zoom in that far. That's true. Uh, forgot what the movie is. Worst Spielberg film, in your opinion? Uh, 19... Was it 1980? 1941. 1941, that's it. Oh, shit. I liked it, but compared to his other stuff, it, it would be at the lower end. I, did, I thought it was quite funny. Probably for Rob, it'd be E.T., wouldn't it? Cause it oh, he, he loves E.T. He loves that. <laughs> uh, BFG, Bob's Burgers. Oh, BFG was disappointing. Yeah, I was going to say as well, I, I was kind of bored through that. Yeah, the ending was awful. Awful. It was just over. It was like, what? Yeah. Where was the ending? Did he direct? He didn't direct Super 8, did he? No. no J. 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 I love Super 8. I'm not right. It's a love letter to Spielberg, isn't it? I love it. Just love it. I don't think... Uh, I... Ryan House Movies, hello. Anyone seen Shanghai and the Legend of the Ten Rings in I, think we'll I, do like, I do like the look of that. That's not good, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I'll go see that. Jimmy D Bag says Eyes Wide Shut is a masterpiece. The Master Fate is masterpiece. Well, if he likes it, that's good. Good that's for you. That's true, Jimmy. yeah. Mm. Good for you, mate. Different. We all like different shit. Yeah. Eyes Wide Shit. There is no right or wrong, there is only opinion. That's right. <laughs> Correct. For our opinions are right and theirs are wrong. What movies from back in the day did you enjoy that nowadays would have a lower age certificate? What was like Robocop in the 18s back then? It'd probably be fucking like 12A now or something. <laughs> I think with the mountain at the end, you'd probably get it at 15 now. And that was quite gratuitous to see when he got his hand blasted off, so I'd still say it'd be up at, up at 15. Robocop, Robocop will be an 18, purely down to the killing scene and the guy at the end. That won't change because of the violence. I think Terminator, the first one, would be a 15, because there's not much gore in it. It's only the bit of his arm. Isn't that a fucking no? Yeah. That's an 18, yeah. I think that should be a 15. I mean, I could be, it might be new now, but at the day, VHS, it was 18. You're probably right. That's because you, you saw his dick swinging. No, it's, it's a 15 now, but you're right, I'm sure it was an 18 back in the day. I'm pretty sure the VHS was an 18. Back I could in be the wrong. day. Back well, when day. I went to see Batman, 1989 one, that was the first 12, I think, that got released, but I think it's a 15 now, isn't it? No, it was a 15. The very no, was, first 12A was, 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 was Born Identity. I guarantee you it was The very first 12A was Born Identity. Not 12A, just 12. Oh, 12, sorry. Yeah, it's a 15 now. So, I mean, when I went to say it was a 12. I don't remember because I, I begged my mum to take me to see that when I was too young. Like Demolition Man's a 15. I thought that would make it come down to a 12 now. Pig was Cage. I've seen that. Has anybody else seen that? Oh, yeah. No, I want to. I thought that was probably Nick Cage's one of his best promises for a long time. I bet it's good. I think it's going to. On a separate matter, I think it's going to absolutely yeah, hide it down here. Yeah, all right. Got to have your tablets. Yeah. That's all right. I don't have to have your tablets. Favourite Richard Donner movie? Lethal Weapon. Superman. He did direct Lethal Weapon, didn't he? he did. Yeah, I think he did. Probably uh, Superman. Yeah, I'll go Superman. I want to get that other version you were talking about. I haven't seen that. The Donner Cup. Did you know that Gremlins 3 is in the works? CGI. It's a no. CGI one, is it? Oh. It's going to be CGI. Oh. It better be good CGI. There's nothing better than practical effects. But this is today's age, isn't it? You got to it's a practical swinging cock. No, it's not. 
To be fair, though, I mean, we'll see, Jared, if you look at all the, the Endor Raptor and all the Velociraptors in Jurassic World, they're CG, they look pretty damn good, especially in 4K. Same with King Kong. Mm. So, but you're right, with regards to that, the first two are practical, so it'd be nice to have that practical in there. Yeah, I think so, but I mean, some things you can get away with, with anime. And they're doing another Ninja Turtle film now. They're doing two. One with Seth Rogen doing an animated, and they're now doing another live action one. So. And I'm hoping they, uh, there is rumour that they're going to go back to the 90s suits and get men and do that again. I've heard. That's what I've heard. Very hush hush. But if they do, I'm there opening fucking morning, not opening night. <laughs> you there? I'm flying all that. I'm on the set. I don't care. I'm jumping over. Right. The they're bringing in a fifth on one the... as well, aren't they? They're bringing in a fifth turtle. That's She's called the... Michelle. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> oh, God. oh dear! No oh, dear. Now, there was a fifth turtle in an anime in a series called Next Mutation, and the name was Venus. Venus. Yeah, v not penis. Venus de Milo. <laughs> Venus. 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 Cock. <laughs> Opposite to cunt. <laughs> what? What during his Todger? Roger and his Todger went out with Badger and Bodger. Mm. Yeah. Uh, what is your favourite Jean Claude Van Damme? If there is one. Bloodsport. Universal Soldier. Time Cop. Uh, what do you mean, oh? <laughs> Expendables 2. I've not seen oh. much of his work. Not seen much of his work. So. You've seen I've got Cyborg yeah. coming. It Next is week. a. It is a fine line between we Time and Universal Soldier for me. I've never seen either. I want to watch both. <laughs> you haven't seen Top Gun either, does it? Just never got round to it. To be honest, Top Gun never really interested me. Not really into that, but I will, I'm will. i going to watch it for Kermit. He said it's a good film. So. But no, I never really got into John Claude Van Damme movie. What movie... Uh, are you looking forward to coming out this year or it hasn't come out yet? What's the one big one this year? Ghost Halloween. Batman and Halloween, yeah. Those are the two. Candyman. Oh, yes, and that one. Bond. Same to you. Uh, yeah, no, tra no Time to Die in the films. Ant-Man 3. I just love Ant-Man. Yeah, I was really lucky. You know those little mini stay puffed in the Ghostbusters Afterlife trailer? Yeah. They had like a three-figure set for sale for pre-order on Forbidden Planet. So I ordered it and it said there was only one left and it was only one pair customer. And I nabbed the very last one. Now it's out of stock. So oh. I was very pleased to get that. But it's about, about this sort of, you know, life size from the film, apparently. And there's three of them. And if you want Jamie's address, send £10 to my <laughs> PayPal at... <laughs> but yeah, I have thought uh, we have Hayley. Evening, Hi, yeah. gents. This is a nice surprise for a Thursday. Hello, Hayley. Any Hello, Hayley. Nice surprise. Hey, Hayley. Hey, Hayley. Oh, well, I'm deaf. Do it again. No. <laughs> Wish I know that before. Won't be the last. What in the. Oh. <laughs> Poor his face. He's really trying to push out a fart. Stop swearing, guys. My kids are watching this. Well, tell them to fuck off. <laughs> On some <laughs> chat who can't get a woo what? <laughs> What's a woo -ah? I don't know. <laughs> That's what they are. <laughs> are, are, they call, are they calling us virgins or something? You need a woman, guys. Stop swearing. Well, three of us are, are married. so Swearing is bad. Know. Bunch of chavs. Chavs. Bunch what do you call of a chav? What do you call a chav? <laughs> In a box. In it. <laughs> Pete. What do you call a chav? In a bank. <laughs> oh. What do you call a chav in a bank? Safe. Oh my God. Quick, let's get onto some comments. <laughs> stop swearing and stop playing with yourself. That's the best thing to do. Oh fuck. 
what movie did you watch that made you fall in love with movies? Mine was The Mask. Not the Jim Carrey one and not the Cher one. Yeah, it's got to be Jim Carrey one. Yeah. Do I need another woman? Last time I checked. Yeah, I need I need a woman. You got one. Mm. Very nice too. Um, I think the movie that made me fall in love with movies is probably going to be. Although it's obviously one of my favourites is Ghostbusters because I remember going back when my dad used to get free tickets at work and got to see them. Um, and I think that and Back to the Future Part 2 and Return of the Jedi, those kind of things. Because it's just part of me, youth remembering stuff like that, you kind of associate with it. So, um, yeah, and I think Gladiator as well made me fall in love with movies because of my passion for like historical and archaeological stuff, especially the Roman Empire. So that kind of connected everything. Mm. That's a bit of a serious answer. I apologise. That's mm. all right. Have a serious movie. My first time at cinema was Return of the Jedi. Yeah, it's yeah. got to be Star Wars for me. Star Wars and Indiana Jones, the two big franchises. Well, mine's pretty obvious, but it's got to be Ninja Turtles, the first one, because I saw that twice. It was the very first film I saw twice at the cinema, and I guess I was so used... I had seen films prior to that. I went and saw The Rescuers, uh, the Disney one, and I'd seen Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, but I think an Oliver and Company. But the very first film that impacted me was Ninja Turtles because it was so different to the cartoon. It's more like the comic books. And I just loved it. And it's always been my favourite for, for that reason and for the fact that I just loved the film. But that was the film that I was like, okay, this is what I'm, I'm loving movies and that's it. And the Mask was fantastic though. Yeah. That's a really good film. And that's a comic book movie that, I mean, everybody's seen that surely. And it's, it's a quality film. That's what got Jim Carrey going, really, I think. If you could re-release any movie or collection so it could get the treatment it deserved, what would it be? Um, Indiana Jones, 4K. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not the Twilight one, no? <laughs> <laughs> they could have done a better job on all the Terminators. Is there a collection box set for the Terminators? I think no? so. But the T2's no getting 4K re-release, isn't it? Yeah, that's because Cameron's redoing it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. First one was shocking. But It'd be a good job if they did a 4K James Cameron complete set would include a True Lies and Terminator and The Abyss. That would be pretty good. I can't understand why he hasn't done The Abyss and why he hasn't done True Lies. I know they say, oh, it generalises terrorists and all that bollocks but it's films that have been out something anybody can watch what's why not watch it in the best format possible the 4k mark has already been done isn't it it's really yeah. pissing me off you know, it's like it's just approval which we'll probably give after avatar 90. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and i'll be 47 times three by then <laughs> yeah. it's a joke right. Hello guys, I'm going to go, I'm going to go on my tea, I'm going to have some peace and quiet because the kids aren't here, um, and I don't like speaking to you because you swear too much, so, um, you've come for a whack, haven't you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go as well because uh, I wouldn't say it's past my bedtime, but I need to have my tablet. <laughs> no, I've, got, I've got a couple of have films to watch whilst my wife's out. No, I haven't done ever. Well, he's yeah. on the phone again, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, right, well, I'm yeah, so I'll be off guys. the bloody screen mm -hmm. in a minute. Don't worry. Oh, he has gone. He's gone already. I told Bye, you, Paul. get off the phone. You off, are you? Well, no, my, I said I would transfer my daughter some money. She's actually in the shop and, she, and I ain't done it yet. So she, <laughs> she's like, yeah, well, I'll make the till. Transfer to pounds. Jamie and pounds. <laughs> <laughs> So that's all I am to my daughter is a wallet. Isn't that right, Chloe? Isn't that right, Chloe? Is this the end then, Paulie? Are we are we going or? Yeah, I think we should. I think we should go because I need to go and do a on, Chloe. shit. Thank you for letting me come on for the last twenty minutes, mate. I'll, 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 I'll miss doing all this. Yeah, anytime you want. Uh, thanks again, thanks again uh, the for next earlier stream as well. Thanks again, Paul, for earlier for that film and that. Appreciate it. Yeah, I won't bother putting it in the post because 
No, you, I'll see you next pointless. week. Yeah, I'll see you next week, so. Yeah. I'll have to bring you something. <laughs> Twilight. <laughs> 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 okie dokie thanks everybody for watching thanks everybody for joining in Pete and Jamie and Paul and uh, all the comments and uh, I'll see you on the next chat whenever bye everyone take care everyone